Everything looks like fintech to me. Eventually, it's a Poloni bitch. Do you believe in ship and sea? Ship and sea doesn't work in fintech. I can't launch a product that's okay, bugs are moving fast, break things, and customer's money is stuck there, right? That's why I'm not doing it. Is lending the only feature, or is it not a feature? It's the product. Well, I don't agree with that. That lending is the only tool. Uh, social media, ke baat to thought to outage oh, yeah, is so yeah. quick. Man. It's not like you delayed something by two days. Aqua fraud. <laughs> the the guy who's dreaming the most, most likely, more more often than not. चोर की दाढ़ी में आउटरेज वो बहुत बहुत वॉट आर सम क्रिटिकल हायर यू नीड टू मेक अर्ली ऑन ऑफकोर्स एज यू ग्रो फॉरवर्ड सम पीपल विल गो सम पीपल विल नॉट बिजनेस इज लाइक दैट की जब तक चल रहा है तब तक बढ़िया चल रहा है कोई हमें फोन करके नहीं बोलता है तो बहुत बढ़िया पेमेंट कर रहे ओवर कम्युनिकेशन इज की इंश्योरिंग दैट बाई वी आर डूइंग समथिंग इज क्लियर टू पीपल वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस स्टोरीज अबाउट द वर्ल्ड ऑफ फिनटेक आई ऑफकोर्स एज यू गाइज नो आई एम अ वेटरन इन द फिनटेक स्पेस मैंने बहुत पेमेंट किया जिंदगी में ठीक है मैंने क्रेडिट कार्ड बहुत इस्तेमाल किया है दैट इज अबाउट इट वी हैव मृदुल फ्रॉम एलिवेशन कैपिटल वी हैव हर्षिल फ्रॉम रेजर पे वरुण फ्रॉम एको जेलमेन वेलकम बस द आइडिया इज सिंपल टू टॉक अबाउट द वर्ल्ड ऑफ फिनटेक बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई लव टू नो आई लव द ऑडियंस टू नो लिल बिट अबाउट यू गाइज लेट स्टार्ट विद यू वरुण यू आर गोड ऑफ बी ऑन शार्क टैंक सो एवरी विल इवेंचुअली फाइंड आउट इज वेल Uh, but before Shark Tank, we are yeah. in. Please tell us a little bit about you. Uh, best way to characterize be my agent. Huh? <laughs> like be my agent. Be my agent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, on a serious note, just been doing insurance pretty much all my life, coincidentally. Yeah. Yeah, this has been twenty uh, plus years. Uh, one uh, insurance uh, company after after the other. Yeah, so I I keep uh, talking to Mridul and joking that first I was an employee, then I became a software services provider, then I became a broker, then I became an insurance. So I'm also a vendor. Bhi reh chuka. <laughs> like, that's the only thing that I've done hmm. for the last twenty years. But yeah, uh, born and brought up in uh, born in Delhi, but brought up in Bombay. Hmm. Uh, lived in. Uh, Bombay pretty much all my life. Where in Bombay were you? Towards the end, before moving to Bangalore, Bandra Jhoo. Hmm. पेरेंट्स वर इन शुरुआत में तो कोई सीधा बैंड्रा जो नहीं पैसे नहीं होते ना तो माँ बाप तो वाशी में थे सो पेरेंटल हाउस वॉज देयर कॉलेज वॉज पोदार माटो करेक्ट तो बस बी एस टी बस पकड़ के जाते थे आई थिंक आफ्टर दैट आई हैड नो क्लू वॉट टू डू इन लाइफ आफ्टर बी कॉम इंजीनियरिंग होने नहीं वाली थी मेरे से दैट वॉज क्वाइट क्लियर कि नहीं होने वाला सो आई एंडेड अप डूइंग एडवर्टाइजिंग और रीली यू स्टडी एडवर्टाइजिंग एडवर्टाइजिंग आई वेंट टू माइका जिसको एक बार किसने बोला तुम क्रिएटिव हो एक बार तो नहीं तो मैं तो सी ए कर रहा था अच्छा तो सी ए कर रहा था तो लोगों ने बोला कैट दे दो तो दे दिया कैट एम डी ए और माइका में एडमिशन हुआ क्योंकि मैं सीधा जाके एग्जाम के लिए बैठ गया था तो और कहीं एडमिशन ही नहीं हुआ सो सबने बोला यार ठीक ही कॉलेज है चले जाओ मेरे को सीए बहुत लेबोरियस लग रहा था देन यू टू माइका आई जस्ट देखते हैं लाइक नो प्लान आई वेंट देयर माय फर्स्ट जॉब वाज आई वाज इंटर्निंग विद लियो बनेट ओके कॉपी इंटर्न नो सर्विसिंग प्लानिंग प्लानिंग ओके विच मीन नथिंग विच मीन नथिंग <laughs> मुझे समझ में आया कि आपको फोन उठाना है क्लाइंट का और जी हाँ करना है तो वो बोला ये मेरे से तो नहीं होगा Uh, I don't think I want to do this. So coincidentally, I done some project on insurance in college. Hmm. Uh, co- just very coincidental. I had nothing to do with the world of insurance. Uh, and there was this lady in uh, Tata AIG hmm. Insurance who kind of picked up that project. I'd interviewed her for some hmm. notes. Hmm. She offered me a job. क्या आप इधर आ जाओ? मैंने कहा इससे तो अच्छा ही है. देखते हैं क्या है. फोन उठाना ही है तो फोन कॉल ही मार लेते हैं लाइक ये 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 करके देख लेते हैं. I just went there and yeah, that's about it. I spent five years there. It was fun. Hmm. Uh, Tata AIG. Yeah, it was fun because insurance that time, India me there was uh, 2001 only where private companies came up. Correct. Uh, this was 2004, 5. So it was very early days. किसी को कुछ नहीं आता था. ना हमारे bosses को भी कुछ नहीं आता था. Because everybody was just doing the doing it for the first time, right? <laughs> it was only telecom and banking guys who were trying to figure out that hmm. insurance होता क्या है. Hmm. कुछ कुछ PSU के लोग भी होते थे. Because उन्हीं को आता था. Correct. Uh, so it was fun first five years. then it just one thing led to the other and i joined templeton for a bit uh fir uh, flipkart hua ola ola hua like yaar main kya kar raha hu apni life mein mujhe kuch karna chahiye i took a little bit of a break kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha tha so i started doing software for insurance companies hmm. and that's how got it so you you are actually do you have a technical background zero no no financial services no technology all right we'll get to this <laughs> 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 badhiya investment kiya aapne <laughs> <laughs> 
Harshil, can you tell us a little bit about you? Raise a pay. Yeah, sure. So, um, I am uh, I am a techie by background. Like, uh, always used to love how to code. Uh, finance is something I stumbled on and and that's how I became a fintech founder before the word fintech was uh, as well known. Mm. Um, so, yeah, uh, was born and brought up in Jaipur, grew up there, uh, went to college in IIT Roorkee. IIT Roorkee mein SDS naam ka kuch shuru kiya tha aapne? Mainne, aur, ah. mainne aur do teen logo ne, hum logo ne milke. Hmm. Kya tha hai SDS? Yaar, do IIT mein kya hota hai ki, matlab, interest chai kisi mein bhi ho, field, matlab, stream usab se milti ki, jau ki rank hai hai. To interest tech mein tha, programming mein tha, but utti rank hai hai nahi, to mechanical mila. So, uh, used to love how to code, uh, uh, classes to code karne ko milta nahi tha, to found a lot of other people like me, jinko hmm. coding pasan thi, but computer science mein hua nahi. Hmm. Uh, to, we got together and create, started a programming group. Ki, jo bhi stream hai, jo bhi hai, you can spend your evenings coding, building projects. So, I'm lo- Isn't that kind of insane, right? Like uh, doing mechanical engineering while also doing software. Uh, yeah, classes to be like lecture. You have computer science mein, mechanical mein, classes to be able to listen to lecture and come back. Like you're not really coding and hmm. trying stuff during classes. So even computer science people would also join in. Uh, hmm. So because actual code karne ko nahi milta tha. Hmm. So we would we got together. We started building hobby projects. Ki yaar, kuch banate kyunki maza aara. Matlab kuch kamana wana to kuch hai nahi college mein hai. Like time pass ke liye kuch karte hain. Raat raat bol bhaid ke. So hmm. we used to start like we. Built a service ki logon ko us time cricket matches dekhne ke liye niche TV room mein jana padta tha. Huh. To we built a service ki humne ek dish TV ko computer se connect kara and we streamed it through the network. Oh to, wow. To huh. ki log lo, room pe baith ke uh, local network pe ek cricket matches dekho kyunki us time internet wagaira colleges mein bahut hi weak hota tha hotstar wagaira kuch hota nahi tha. Hmm. To you couldn't really watch streams jo globally aa rahi hain. Yeah, lukewarm star bana diya aap. Ha, hot star type uh, basic. <laughs> so we started doing that. Aise kuch kuch banate we created DC to uh, in local network jo most IITs wagaira hota hai but rukki mein nahi tha for people to share pehle log pen drive le leke ghumte the ki mere ko movie chahiye yaar yaar movie de de to we created dc ki network pe share ho jaye so used to just write code kisi no outcome the only outcome was ki traction milna chahiye logon ko log use kare maza aaye hame usme maza apne level pe sab pmf dhoond rahe the us time to we used to do that and jab college se nikle to again matlab kar rahe ho jitna bhi code board job to stream ke sab se lagti hai to got a job in slumberj from mechanical It was one of the best jobs in mechanical, but I didn't have interest in mechanical. The first day I went to the job, I said, you're going to do a tool, you're going to do a clean job. I said, this job is not going to be done. So, the friends of SDSK had two friends, they said, let's do something else. This is not going to be done. I'm going to change this job, I'm going to go to another mechanical job. So, we used to... Uh, good thing about MSC jobs is you have a lot of free time, right? Like, hmm. 4-5 hours free, you don't have anything to do with your home, you don't have to do much effort. So, we used to spend that... Weekends and evenings coding again uh, that we used to do. So, I'm Dono, I was in Shashank, she was in Microsoft again, had a lot of free time. So, Dono milke code board karte the. And for one of those, we had to accept payments. So, usme kafi, we jumped in, we figured out, yeah, it's a very painful process. I mean, payment accept karna hame. Itte dod bhaak kyu karni pade. I mean, we took like six months to just start accepting payments online. And I mean, like, payments, so, I mean, harkisi ko chiye, koi bhi agar commerce, kisi bhi type of commerce internet banayega, to usko payments chiye hoga. तो अगर इतना पेन रहेगा तो लोग कॉमर्स कैसे बनाएंगे इंटरनेट तो सेट्स ऑफ वी जस्ट टम्बल्ड इनटू इट वी हैड नो आइडिया ऑफ फाइनेंस इकोस्टम वी हैड नो आइडिया ऑफ बैंकिंग वी हैड नो आइडिया ऑफ लाइक रेगुलेशंस एंड स्टफ सो हैड टू टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू फिगर दैट आउट बट दैट्स हाउ वी जंप्ड ऑन टू स्टार्टिंग दिस एंड शशांक आल्सो डिड नॉट हैव एनी फाइनेंस बैकग्राउंड नो 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 ही 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 आल्सो वाज अ प्योर टेकी एंड लाइक बोथ ऑफ अस न्यू ईच अदर बिकॉज़ वी यूज्ड टू कोड टुगेदर इन एसडीएस सो उससे आता था बाकी फाइनेंस वाइनेंस तो सीखा बोथ ऑफ अस वर चिल्ड्रन ऑफ बैंकर्स लाइक मतलब लोगों के फादर्स बैंक्स में थे तो उनसे बात बात करके थोड़ा समझने की कोशिश करी कि किससे क्या करना चाहिए बैंक्स में कैसे नेविगेट करें बट दैट्स लिमिटेड अमाउंट ऑफ डिस्क्रप्शन मस्ट बिगिन एट होम फ्री टाइम में कोड करते हम तो फ्री टाइम में दारू पीते थे हम दारू पी के कोड कर लेते थे मिडिल हाउ डू यू बिगिन एंड टेल अस अबाउट योर जर्नी एट एलिवेशन यू आर बोर्न एंड ब्रॉट अप इन दिल्ली डिड स्कूलिंग इन दिल्ली Uh, I used to live next to IIT Delhi, uh, mm. so ended up giving J, mm. and then ended up doing my J IIT in Madras mm. while living next door to Delhi, okay. IIT Delhi, <laughs> which is the strangest oh thing. <laughs> and I reflect <laughs> on my <laughs> life, which is the strangest thing I've <laughs> ever done. Two states in itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> और वो भी ऐसा नहीं कि कॉम साइंस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स कुछ करने गए हो केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग करने के लिए मैं IIT Madras गया. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We had a lot of free time, uh, mm. but I didn't do any coding. Mm. Uh, very confused. My job was at HPCL, uh, not even slums. I said, "Boss, this will not happen." So then, when did MBA mm. uh, at IIM Lucknow? Mm. Uh, after that, got into McKinsey. Spent five years uh, at McKinsey. 
worked a lot with financial services. Uh, finally got a little bored of that uh, and then got into investing. Didn't know much about VC. I mean, VC industry in India also was then just about starting. Just absolutely loved the people I met at Elevation. We were known as SAF partners then. Correct. Um, and now those are Gara say joined that. Most of my time I've spent in, I'm the man with the proverbial fintech hammer in Correct. Elevation. So everything looks like fintech to me. But everything does end up becoming fintech in India. Eventually, it's a baloney bitch. I had a tweet that said that either you die as a startup or you live long enough to become a fintech. Correct. Mm. So, <laughs> so that's Correct. the scope of my work at Elevation. Correct. Uh, and then But yeah, like I've partnered with Varun, a bunch of other people. I've missed partnering with Harshil many times over, which is a deep regret. Uh, but yeah, it's been a fun ride. So, this is what you have to say. Eventually, you have to lend me. Kunal Saka tweet, tha, right? I remember mm, reading it back feature. in the day, which didn't make sense to me then. <laughs> like, lending is a feature. Is lending the only feature, or is it not a feature? It's the product. I want to throw this open to the room. Let's begin. Let's just enter it. <laughs> Ki eventually, ja ke, eventually, you have to lend me. Is that the only business model? Bidul, I want to start with you. You're seeing, you're seeing yeah, so many companies. Yeah, because yeah. you're yeah. seeing companies across the board. So, aisa, we didn't do a tweet, but one of our retreats, we did a panel, which Varun may have attended. I don't know if Arshil was in that one, which was called All, Road, All Roads Lead to Lending. Mm. Mm. So, thoda sa contextual to India. Hai. Ek to, first of all, at the highest level, I don't agree with that, that lending is the only tool. I mean, here's Varun doing insurance and mm. building a very, very large company. Here's Arshil doing payments, building a very large company. But if you really look at India, take a step back and say, look, what is really the issue in India? I think the issue largely of us is of access. And then there are different vectors in which people are feeling. But Hindustan may access in here. The dichotomy is that people who deserve access to financial products don't have access. And people who have enough access have double access, triple access. Eh? All of you will have 5, 8, 10 credit cards if you want. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but there are a lot of people who don't have access correct, to correct, financial correct, products. Correct. And Fundamentally, if you look at growth of economies, mm. uh, credit becomes a very big catalyst to that growth. So especially in a market like India, which is very driven by, you know, SMEs, very driven by, uh, you know, very dispersed market, retail population, largely living means to means. The lending does stand out as a fairly, fairly large revenue tool. Now, on top of that, you layer the last 10 years of journey um, and, you know, Huge credit to Harshil for the business he's created, but eventually we made payments a public utility, Correct. which is fantastic. Like, you know, having an infra like UPI is like world class. But you've taken away a lot of monetization levers, which have existed Correct. in global markets on payments. Correct. And therefore, if you look at payments, for a lot of people, payments has acted like a wedge. That we'll use it as a wedge, we'll build habit, we'll build frequency, but on top of that, we'll go and cross sell. And then you put it in context of the consumers in India today. What will you sell? Like insurance penetrations are low as people become more financially savvy, more literate. Insurance penetration will increase. Wealth, it's not difficult to sell. It is difficult to sell. It's a difficult product. Wealth management requires wealth, mm. uh, first of all. So there is a sliver of population where it will build. So credit by default becomes the biggest monetization lever or a cross-sell product. Um, and India has had history of very vibrant lenders being listed in Indian capital markets for a long, long time, which also acts as huge inspiration to people who've created a lot of wealth. Like these are very, very well-run organizations at a global level, not just India. So which, you know, partly behind that joke, I think is this context of where we are uh, in consumers' affluence in India and what the monetization levers are available for startups in India. Thanks for those insights, guys. For everybody who's going to make your own Next Level Profiles after hearing this, I have some tips for you. We actually made Next Level Profiles for Harshil, Varun uh, and Ridul. Let's read Harshil's. Wow. Uh, after discovering the dismal state of online payments in India, I quit my full-time job at Wireline Field Engineering at Schlumberger to start Razorpay. Uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder and our company's mission is to simplify payments. We started in 2014, but backed by all these investors and Y community. All right. Pretty straightforward. Ashil's kept it straightforward. Varun is the founder and CEO of ACO, General Insurance. Prior to ACO, Varun co-founded CoverFox, an insurance broking platform. His diverse experience for passion for technology, mostly insurance, have positioned him <laughs> as a prominent figure in India's insured tech scene. Mridul has been with Elevation Capital since 2011 and primarily looks at funds, financial services, including ACO, A Finance, Axio Clear, and Urban Company. Okay, we're probably sitting with two other founders who've you know, dominated their, their verticals. Now, okay, let's see, we've seen many successes in, I'm coming back to you, Midul. 
we've seen many across the different as wealth management payments credit cards lending insurance are there any obvious verticals left uh, that there aren't very very clear clear winners or now it's just like just start us fighting with each other to to win the space yaar mujhe to lagta hai bahut early hai it is super early all verticals are left so you put it in context again of india india today ballpark financial services revenue pool is 200 220 billion dollars hmm आप फिनटेक्स ले लो सारे मिला के देर हार्डली टू थ्री फोर परसेंट आठ से दस बिलियन है आज रेवेन्यू फिनटेक्स का इंडिया में यू कम्बाइन एवरी वन तो पहले तो दिस टू ट्वेंटी हैज टू गो टू अ ट्रिलियन डॉलर इन सेवन एट टेन ईयर्स सेकेंडली द फिनटेक गाइज है बैंक को इंक्लूड नहीं कर रहे हो इसके अंदर बट लुक देर आर पार्ट ऑफ बैंक रेवेन्यू पुल विच potentially you can't touch but there are parts where you can collaborate and there are parts where you will compete i think all three models like this hmm. so you take it any slice it any which way you say 10 to 15% of this will be fintech by the way for context in us this is 25 30% is owned by fintech and i'm including payment processors everyone 10% bhi hota hai to there's 100 billion revenue pool to go yaar abhi 10 billion pe hai so hmm. the 10x journey is ahead of us and of course all of this will be you know aco will grow many fold razor pay will grow many fold but new creation will 100% happen hmm. so all the areas you mentioned i feel are open uh, for new disruption new play sona nahi hai matlab nahi hai bilkul bhi kaam bahut hai bahut kaam chill nahi kar sakte yahi main bolna cha raha tha but you mentioned uh, insur- you made a passing comment saying insurance is hard to sell why did, why did you say that I'll, i'll also comment on the thing that you said right Please. credit wealth or you know Please. all of these pieces all of these at least in my head are very different so hmm. sabna there is some instant gratification insurance there is no gratification correct Uh, that becomes the biggest issue too uh, mm-hmm. because i have to be a really thoughtful person to say ki yaar main future mein kuch mishap ke liye i am going to you know uh, protect myself or buy it's a healthy habit like going to gym yeah correct, correct, it's, correct, yeah, correct. It's, it's one of those it's, it's a tough one right like mm-hmm. uh, if uh, whether it's payments or credit is like there's always demand right everyone right, wants instant. like nobody has cash flow everybody <laughs> wants cash like <laughs> Uh, Elon Musk ko bhi jail loan matlab sabko jail loan like so mm. i think credit is you know one of those products which flies you know uh, mm. quickly do you but guys have a credit play no mm. not yet harshil do you have a credit play in a small fashion but not simply okay please continue so uh, insurance may because there's no gratification and also it's some far out thing in the future it gets it gets very hard to you know the impulse buy hota na mm. कि आई आई एम ऑन फोन पे और आई एम ऑन दिस आई सॉ सम ऑफर मैंने कुछ ले लिया अमेजोन पे कुछ ले लिया और यू नो हर्शल कंपनी ऑफर्स मी अ क्विक लोन विद समथिंग आई एम वो सब नहीं हो सकता इन शॉर्ट इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू क्रिएट इम्पल्स एंड देर इज नो फ्रीक्वेंसी ऐसा नहीं कि आपको रोज लेना है पेमेंट आप रोज करोगे करेक्ट अगर आप वेल्थ में भी हो तो भी आपको अपना स्टॉक प्राइस पोर्टफोलियो ऊपर नीचे जा रहा है देखने में मजा आता है करेक्ट तो देर एंगेजमेंट करेक्ट यू नो इन इंश्योरेंस आप लेके सोने सोने का है <laughs> उसके बाद सो इट्स अ वेरी स्लीपी करेक्ट करेक्ट नॉन इंपल्सिव यू नो सिचुएशन सो इट्स इट्स हार्ड व्हेन देयर नो ग्रेटिफिकेशन इज रियली हार्ड एंड हाउ सो हाउ डू यू अट्रैक्ट यंगर कस्टमर्स लाइक आई थिंक द इज इट द न्यूअर जनरेशन हाउ हाउ डू यू गो अबाउट ए एजुकेशन एंड डू यू केयर अबाउट यंगर यंगर कस्टमर्स डू यू केयर अबाउट द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन दैट्स गोना इवेंचुअली सो वी हैव सीन दैट इट ऑटोमेटिकली हैपेंस राइट द मिनट यू start touching i'm, I'm just generalizing a bit hmm. you start touching 30 hmm. you have maybe i'm talking about middle class upper middle class i'm hmm. not talking people who are still at subsistence level hmm. uh, the minute you get a job 30 ke ho gaye matlab 4 5 saal work ex ho gaya you want to buy a car hmm. so, jaise for car or two wheeler that's hmm. your first introduction ho jabardasti aapko ek insurance hmm. you know you start getting into the world you start having a family फिर कोई पेरेंट बीमार होगा तो अच्छा याद आता है कि अभी इंश्योरेंस ले लेते हैं द मिनट यू क्रॉस थर्टी ऑटोमेटिकली पीपल स्टार्ट कमिंग इनटू द कमिंग इनटू द सिचुएशन इधर बाय लॉ और इधर बाय तो दैट पूल आई थिंक एनी बड़ी यंगर देन थर्टी वी लाइक एवरेज एज फॉर एन एक्ो कस्टमर अबाउट थर्टी फोर थर्टी थर्टी फोर थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव उसके नीचे नहीं आते हैं लोग लाइफ डज दी एजुकेशन लाइफ या लाइफ डज दी एजुकेशन आई थिंक यंगर लाइबिलिटी नहीं है कोई एसेट नहीं है तो क्या प्रोटेक्ट करोगे हेल्थ भी अच्छी है तो नो बडीज रियली बॉदर्ड एंड फेयरली सो आई आई थिंक दैट्स द मार्केट रियली स्टार्ट्स व्हेन पीपल स्टार्ट टचिंग अबाउट थर्टी या एंड दैट्स लाइक अ बिग वन फॉर अस बिकॉज इंडिया में अभी एवरेज एज ट्वेंटी एट तो आई एम वेटिंग फॉर दैट दैट्स वॉट ऑफ पीपल टू कम अवर टू दी बर्थडे। 
like Echo and Razer Pay is that this is such a like customer service is such an important part of of both these businesses. What do you guys do to a solve for you know satisfaction of customer at at the post post usage uh, purchase level? And what are some hacks that fintech found? Because we're talking about money here. It's the the biggest deal for for people. Uh, I want to start with you, Harshil. Like Razer Pay is known for its fantastic customer service. How how do you do it? What are some early learnings that you had as in a, in a b2b environment like customer service becomes it, it's not just service in the sense ki customer ne call kar aur service hogi wo sales or servicing saath mein chalta hmm. because a customer like you reach out to a customer and you i want to sell 20 other products he was says ki first all my existing hmm. problem hmm. don't talk to me about new products nothing koi usse pehle koi nayi baat karo mat to hmm. we have to first solve the existing problem servicing or support we servicing and sales we track together hmm. that If my customer is happy, he'll buy more products. If he's not happy, then current will not be available. Otherwise, it will not be available. So, I think I'm able to do is because I'm part of the community in the Bangalore ecosystem. Is just be connected to other founders, founders. and uh, like our service is generally sold to other founders. So hmm. I keep catching up with them in meeting, events, part of WhatsApp groups. So, I mean, I know that if there is a significant issue, then I will get four pings that day. Right? Like, I don't hmm. need to wait for the metric to come back. अगर मेरा पंद्रह मिनट का भी डाउन टाइम होगा तो मेरे को तीन पिंग आ जाएंगे किसी ना किसी फाउंडर के कि यार क्या चल रहा है मेट्रिक अगर कुछ खराब हुआ नीचे कुछ फटा तो मेरे को पिंग आने लगेंगे पिंग आते हैं दैट इज माई फर्स्ट इंडिकेशन की कुछ गड़बड़ होने लग गया बिफोर द मेट्रिक स्टार्ट फ्लोइंग एंड दैट The advantage of B2B is that I can meet customers from anywhere. Right? Like in B2C, sometimes it's hard. Like, if you meet millions of customers from two, you meet, you don't know if that's a real representation. In our case, it's like maybe ten thousand customers, maybe thousand in a cohort. If I meet ten, I'm doing a decent net, percentage net, of the yeah. cohort cover. Covering. And so one of the things I do today, even today, is that I meet at least one customer a week. Uh, right? And go have a conversation. Or if there's some issue, like someone reaches out to me, I'll go out and meet. And uh, that is generally the test on the ground for me. For everything else that I am doing in the office, मतलब जितने भी strategy plan वगैरह जो बन रहे हैं, उसका test मेरे लिए वो meeting होती है, right? कि तो if we have discussed that भी कि यार ये एक product करते हैं, तो मैं उस meeting में test करने की कोशिश करूँगा कि like do you think ये करेंगे तो तुम्हें interest होगा कि नहीं होगा? So I think that becomes a real on ground test, and that also keeps me honest कि whatever else I am doing, that is like the truth right there कि तुम सोच रहे हो कि मैं कुछ बहुत बढ़िया मचाने वाला हूँ कुछ नया प्रोडक्ट बना रहा हूँ जो लाइफ चेंज कर देगा मैं फाउंडर से मिलता हूँ बोलता हूँ यार ये हम कर रहे हो यार ये तो मेरी टॉप प्रॉब्लम भी नहीं है मतलब आई डोंट केयर किसी से बात कर लेना शायद किसी की प्रॉब्लम होगी मेरा बस पी एस आर बढ़ा दो पेमेंट सकते ये सब बकवास बातें तो आई थिंक दैट इज दैट दैट इज लास्ट थिंग इज दैट की मतलब कस्टमर सर्विस इज अ कल्चर लाइक यू क्रिएट इट इन दी ऑग राइट लाइक वो एक टीम को असाइन कर देगी तुम्हारा काम कस्टमर सर्विस से उससे होता नहीं क्योंकि वो टीम अपना मैट्रिक्स ऑप्टिमाइज कर लेगी बेस्ट पर वो कहेगी मेरे पे आता है मैं आगे पास करता हूँ नीचे कोई नहीं सुनता राइट सो इट इज अ कल्चर दैट यू बिल्ट इन दी ऑग की लाइक योर कस्टमर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड लाइक हाउ यू एंश्योर एवरीबडी कीप्स रियलाइजिंग थिंग्स यू डू इज की हमारे यू हैव अ मंथली ऑल एंड सब मिलते हैं यू ऑलवेज हैव वन कस्टमर कम इन एंड स्पीक इन दी ऑल एंड्स राइट कि वो आके बताएगा कि तुमने मेरी लाइफ किस तरह से अच्छी करी और किस तरह से खराब करी राइट सो एंड दैट अगेन लाइक दैट इज अज गोइंग टू एवरी वन की या तो तुम उसकी लाइफ में वैल्यू ऐड कर रहे हो या वैल्यू डिस्ट्रक्ट कर रहे हो एंड सो दो आर लाइक थिंग्स दैट वी कीप इम्प्लीमेंटिंग बट एट स्केल आई थिंक दीज आर सम ऑफ द वेज दैट यू कीप पीपल ऑन ग्राउंड कीप फीलिंग क्योंकि मैं मेरी टीम चाहे कितना भी कर रही हो बट जब वो इंजीनियर के पास आया कि ये प्रॉब्लम फिक्स करनी क्योंकि कस्टमर को प्रॉब्लम हो रही है हाउ सीरियसली टेक्स इट इज ड्रिवन बाई हाउ मच यू अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफ कस्टमर सर्विस इन दी ऑल एंड यू हैव टू बिल्ड रिचुअल्स अराउंड इट दैट पीपल कीप कनेक्टिंग बैक की हाँ मतलब कस्टमर की प्रॉब्लम है तो वो हाइस्ट प्रायरिटी है तो बी टू बी तो हर्षिल का तो जवाब इजियर होगा कि देख yeah. मैं तो मिल ही लेता हूँ सीधा कस्टमर yeah. से डायरेक्ट टू कस्टमर में फटते होंगे चीजें अरे बहुत स्केल yeah. तो क्या करते हो आप सो आई थिंक एक तो पहले सबसे पहले इंश्योरेंस का न्यूंस है इसमें जस्ट बिकॉज इट्स नॉट अ रेगुलर डी टू सी बिजनेस राइट फर्स्टली हर कस्टमर मेरे लिए अच्छा नहीं है ओके दैट्स द दैट्स द फर्स्ट इशू राइट लाइक पीपल कम विद बाइक चोरी हो चुकी है उसके बाद इंश्योरेंस ले रहे हैं लाइक बैड थिंग टू से कैंसर हो चुका है उसके बाद इंश्योरेंस लेने आए हैं यू नो सो दीज आर दीज आर सो नॉट ऑल कस्टमर्स आर गुड सो वन द टास्क इज इवन हार्डर बिकॉज यू नीड टू बी एबल टू शाफ्ट आउट द गुड फ्रॉम द बैड बिकॉज जो चोरी करने आया होता है और डी फ्रॉड एंड इंश्योरेंस कंपनी और वट एवर वो सबसे ज्यादा चलाता है यू नो सो इट 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 इज ऑल्सो बीन अ लर्निंग ओवर द लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स बिकॉज 
we most new age founders are reasonably fanatical about customer experience right so wo is similar whatsapp groups you know at one in the night also there's a linkedin pop up wo mera jayega message kya hua question mark what is happening you know so these teams are there so culturally everybody is looking at it but there was also a period that i realized i was putting so much pressure on on the teams that they that boundary of fraud versus good customer service jo team ko jo breathing room chahiye to figure out ye ye fraud hai ke ye you know so so it's it's been fairly tricky insurance because all customers i don't want actually you know uh, actually in, uh, social media ke baad to outrage is the path yeah, oh from yeah. thought to outrage oh, yeah, is so yeah. quick massive Microsoft. massive so and and it's not like you delayed something by two days aqua fraud yeah, yeah. <laughs> correct, 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 correct. and tag like everyone in the country tag like everyone like the from PM modi to everyone modi to nirmala sitaraman <laughs> to irda <laughs> Uh, to my investors, to hmm. everybody, you know, every ev- everybody, everybody is you know kind of tagged. And you, so, uh, this is an- probably anecdotal, but you've seen that likelier the fraud, the louder the yeah. That is very clear. That, that is I have clear. You've seen this pattern. We've seen this pattern. The the guy who's guy or person who's screaming the most or hmm. being the most unreasonable hmm. is most likely. You know, uh, most likely, more more often than not, is is. Chor ki dadi mein outrage. Ah, wo bahot hai, bahot hai. You know, uh, and they will also come up with soft stories or, मतलब मेरे को इतना mental agony हो गया, ये हो गया, वो हो गया. And there's there's a lot more drama in that post. Drama. Uh, yeah, बहुत drama है उस post में. So we've we've also learned to, you know, decipher. It's still very tricky, right? Because you can get it wrong. How how do you know when something is something smells fishy? Yeah, there are lots of signals, right? Like first, the first thing, maybe maybe top of the funnel is. you know one of the things that happens in india in insurance is ke uh, insurance companies ka india mein ye tarika see very is very different from credit right correct aapne credit credit and insurance like completely reverse of each other hmm. okay correct correct so it's it's almost like saying ke if i'm giving you money as a lender i hope that you bloody give it back to me hmm. like that's that's the situation so i'm very careful because i'm doling out you know money correct on the other side insurance companies in india unfortunately are loose ke theek hai de do insurance मैं तो पैसा लेके बैठा ना मुझे डिसाइड करना है देना है कि नहीं देना है सो इट्स वेरी इजी टू रियली ट्रबल द कस्टमर और टू रन योर प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी बेसिस दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिसाइड वेदर टू पे और नॉट टू पे बिकॉज आई एम ऑलरेडी सेटिंग ऑन द कैश करेक्ट कंपेयर टू अ लेंडर हु इज ऑलरेडी गिवन आउट द कैश सो वॉट इज हैपन इन इंडिया इज के वो चेक पॉइंट जो चाहिए शुरू में कि ये सही कस्टमर है कि गलत कस्टमर है वो बहुत वीक है एंड द चेक पॉइंट इज द हार्डेस्ट एट द पॉइंट ऑफ एक्ट ओके इसमें गुड कस्टमर बैड कस्टमर दोनों पिस जाता है यू नो बिकॉज योर एंट्री चेक पॉइंट इज प्रिटी पुअर एंड यू हैव लेवरेज दैट एग्जिट चेक पॉइंट पर तो मैं पकड़ ही लूंगा ओके hmm. okay. तब मैं पचास डॉक्यूमेंट भी और मांग लूंगा ये भी मांग लूंगा hmm. बाप की कुंडली लेके सब लेके आओ लाइक सब एवरी थिंग दैट आई कैन आस्क फॉर सो दैट चेक पॉइंट बिकम्स यू नो इशू सो फर्स्ट थिंग एट द टॉप ऑफ द फाइनल दैट एटलीस्ट वीव लर्न टू डू इज ऑफकोर्स एज you know just keep improving the underwriting check, check the fraud before the entry don't offer a product to somebody who you can is is likely to be fraudulent or hmm. is doing something ajeeb ajeeb cheeze karte rahe like so you know we sell car insurance based is your no claim bonus and all that wo alag hmm. price aata hai ye hota hai wo hota hai log alag alag login se char baar aage piche karke dekhte hai ki ye mera price kya aa raha hai kya hmm. <coughs> so kaun sa combination use karenge kaun sa combination mein mera 500 rupaya 800 rupaya bachega wo अलग फिर वो फोन नंबर अलग देता है आई पी सेम हो जाता है तो हम पकड़ लेते हैं कुछ ना कुछ तो यू कीप कीप गेटिंग बेटर एट कैचिंग यू नो सो दैट यू डोंट ट्रबल द गुड गाइज टूवर्ड्स दी एग्जिट चेक पॉइंट सो इंटरनली वी नाउ हैव इज गेटिंग रिफाइंड वॉट वी कॉल अ कस्टमर रेप्यूटेशन स्कोर तो एक रेप्यूटेशन है हमारा वॉट वी बिलीव इट मे बी स्लाइटली ऑफ और स्लाइटली इट कंटिन्यूज टू इम्प्रूव तो अगर हाई रेप्यूटेशन वाले का क्लेम आया तो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट रेड कार्पेट ट्रीटमेंट because by and large we are getting confidence in our systems ke ye hamara system galat nahi identify kar raha hai agar reputation thoda okay okay then there's a little thoda more thoda dhundo ke you know this looks fishy you know one of the most fishy things that happens is aaj policy liya do din mein claim aa gaya this is in our business we call it close proximity right policy lete hi you know uh, uh, claim or india india mein to bahut funny cheeze hoti hai so bike bike is the biggest example right bike chori ho gayi hmm. इंश्योरेंस लेनी हुई है फिर मैंने एफआईआर हो गई बाइक की hmm. अब मैं इंश्योरेंस लेने आया हूँ अब एफआईआर तो इंश्योरेंस के डेट के पहले की है तो क्लेम नहीं मिलेगा करेक्ट ओके तो वो लोकल पुलिस को पैसे खिलाएगा वो एफआईआर की डेट चेंज करवाएगा करेक्ट ओके वो एफआईआर फॉरवर्ड होगी इंश्योरेंस के डेट की बात की नाउ एवरी वन इन्वॉल्व अनफॉर्चुनेटली टू से कॉपीज ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व उसको भी बोल रहा है दस टका मैं तेरे को दे दूंगा तो डेट बदल दे बस 
is damn hard and india is notorious india is <laughs> india will find a loophole <laughs> for it to nikal out tarike se nikal hi jaate so i think most of my stuff i figure out is la- largely is, is that uh, you know that uh, it's a similar thing that amazon believe the anecdotes more than the data hmm. it's the you cons- if you constantly see something you know uh, social media pe my only job is i just i respond hmm. to 80% of the customer complaints i'll respond hmm. on on social media hmm. and that anecdotal evidence if you see a pattern in some of the things that are happening in your company you know metrics say dikh rahi hai your escalation percentages are 0.5% mm. only 0.5 are escalating but you are starting to see a pattern mm. in the anecdotes mm. that's when like uh, I, i was talking to you right the other day we sent people for a medical test for a health insurance ab escalation 1% hi aa raha hai koi pareshan nahi ho rahe log lekin mere maa baap bhi ke liye maine insurance apply kiya hai wo lab mein fasting karke 2 ghanta baithe hue hain kyunki unka number nahi aa raha ab ye surface nahi hota wo number mein chup jata hai so that's when you kind of start getting a sense ki yaar ye one guy will complain my parents were sitting there fasting for 2 hours aapne bulaya 8 baje 10 baje tak unko test ke is is this one off then you dig deeper then you realize are ye char jagah aur ho raha hai you know but it's not there in the data yeah. so this is like both both the businesses you're often made to confront emotionally charged customers right so it's so easy to make emotional decisions on a day to day basis it's it's tough for you as founders but how do you even rationalize um and i'm assuming it must have taken some time to realize this about yourself ki oh some of these decisions were emotional in nature some of these were you know more rationalized how do you rationalize with yourself and how do you bleed that to the team when the team is also like like bro the person at the other end this is what's happening to them matlab wo indian idol mein singer stage pe aane se pehle jo kahani dikhta hai wo kahani team ke samne chal rahi hoti hai so yeah. and so the team is putting pressure on you to respond and if you give a wrong answer you come across as the asshole like how how do you deal with this i'm assuming this has been a decade long journey you know i open it up to both of you see um, i think anything with money is always an emotional response yeah. ki paisa ka like for example in our case like regulations are tight and getting tighter for Correct. required reasons because payments are going up regulations will get tightened fraud wagera bhi sath mein chal raha hai so you need to um, now in this case like सबके साथ हुआ होगा कि किसी वेबसाइट पर ऑर्डर करा ऑर्डर नहीं आया मर्चेंट hmm. भाग गया राइट लाइक एंड एंड वी बिकम रिस्पॉन्सिबल किया वो फ्रॉड में कंट्रोल करना है उसका तरीका ये होता है कि वी हैव टू ब्लॉक मर्चेंट फंड जहाँ पे हमें लगता है कि वो फ्रॉड करने वाला है एंड वी ब्लॉक दट फंड ऑन द अदर साइड अब वो रियल मर्चेंट के साथ भी होगा कभी ना कभी तो एंड रियल मर्चेंट विल गेट रियली एंग्री की मैंने ट्रांसन करी मेरा तो धंधा तुम्हारे साथ स्टार्ट करा और पहला ट्रांसन ने मेरा ब्लॉक कर दिया रोक दिया मैं आगे बिजनेस कैसे रन करूँ सो इट्स अ वेरी इमोशनली चार्ज सिचुएशन एंड ऑन वन साइड वी हैव आर ओन सस्पेशन लाइक यूर सिंग यार शायद तुमने वो पैसा लेके सर्विस देने वाले थे नहीं देने वाले थे हमें डाउट है और दूसरा अब ये कह भी नहीं सकते मर्चेंट को कि यार हमें तो डाउट है तुम देने वाले नहीं देने वाले भी लाइक यार तुम मेरे पे भरोसा नहीं कर रहे मैं तो तुम्हारे कस्टमर हूं तुम मेरे पे डाउट कर रहे हो सो इन फिनटेक सर्विस इट्स वेरी हार्ड बिकॉज़ यू आर द यू ऑफ अ जज करेक्ट एंड उस सिचुएशन में लाइक इट्स इट्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स इट्स अ हिट मिस व्हाट यू ट्राई टू डू इज दैट majority of your time you track over time ki 90% of time you are taking the right call 5 10% time galat call hoti hai and then we have systems to appeal matlab jaise ab ki like if you go back to a simple thing like legal and all of these processes it's not like any of these processes are saying ki every time things will be perfect mm. but when things are wrong you have a process to appeal your process to challenge and over with enough checks and balances over time things are right framework zaruri hai framework zaruri so that you you try to do internally as well ki tum decision loge majority of the time you will try to ensure that decision is right but if you give if you're doing the right if you're trying to do right sometimes it will be wrong 100% nahi hoga you have enough frameworks around appeal and escalation and stuff like that or ways for people to prove ki mujhe lagta hai ki shayad tum gadbad kar rahe ho to prove to me that you are doing right like to hum mangenge usse ki dekhao apna agar tumne saman ship kar diya to shipping detail dekhao tracking detail dekhao ye dekhao kai baar like again the challenge is imagine we like yaar maine to tumse service liye tum mere se paise charge kar rahe ho main tumhe kyun batao maine the service deliver kari ya nahi kari right so so <laughs> हमें एक ऑब्लिगेशन है अगर कल कुछ खुश हुआ कस्टमर ने फ्रॉड करा तो वॉट इंश्योरिंग सेंटिटी ऑफ दिस्टम वी टू टेस्ट दीज थिंग्स जनरली आई सीन टू यूर पॉइंट जेनुअन मर्चेंट विल भी ओके मोस्ट ऑफ द जेनुअन मर्चेंट्स आर ओके ठीक है ट्रैकिंग डेटली तो मांग रहे दे दो थोड़ा परेशानी हो रही है देने पड़ने में दे दो राइट 
जो सबसे ज़्यादा फ्रॉडस्टर वाला मर्चेंट होगा वो सबसे ज़्यादा नॉइस करेगा कि मैं क्यों दूँ तुम होते कौन हो पूछने वाले मैं आर को कंप्लेन करूँगा मैं इसको कंप्लेन करूँगा तो हम कौन होते पूछने वाले एंड दैट इज़ वेयर लाइक यू हैव टू समेयर एक्सेप्ट कि यू कॉन्ट कीप ऑल ऑफ योर कस्टमर्स हैप्पी द पार्ट ऑफ दिजन फिनटेक बिजनेस की दे ऑलवेज भी डिट्रैक्टर्स बिकॉज बाई डिफॉल्ट फ्रॉस्टर टू डिट्रैक्टर है ही वो तो आए डिटेक्ट करने की अगर उसको पकड़ लिया तो डिटेक्ट नहीं बनेगा शुड ऑल्सो या शुड ऑल्सो तो अगर तुम्हारा 100% परसेंट एनपीएस है वगैरह तो तुम फ्रॉड हो रहे हो तो तुम फ्रॉड नेबल कर रहे हो क्योंकि तुम्हारा प्रोसेस शुरू हो जा रहा है तुम्हारे से तो इनफैक्ट और वो बताया कौन चालू होगी यार यहाँ पे फ्रॉड करो कोई नहीं पकड़ता बढ़िया वायरल बहुत जल्दी बहुत वायरल हो जाता है तो अपने पचास सौ लोगों को देते हैं आर कनेक्टेड वेल वो सौ लोग कि ये करो ना यार रेजर पे में बढ़िया फ्रॉड करो कोई नहीं बोलता वो बल्कि तुम्हें फोन करके हेल्प और करेंगे अब वो जाके रेज कर रहे वो डेक बना रहे रेज करे ट्विटर पर डाल दो फटाफट सॉल्व कर देते तो ये टू सो द डिट्रैक्टर हैज टू बी पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेस इनफैक्ट यू नीड टू हैवेल्दी पोर्स ऑफ डिट्रैक्टर विच मीस You are catching the right amount of fraud because fraud fraud detector hai. Bhai, ek delta four fraud mila hai mujhe. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that is how the ecosystem is built and with right frameworks वगैरह बना के यू गेट टू अल्दी परसेंटेज ऑफ इन समेल्दी परसेंटेज ऑफ फ्रॉड दैट यू कैच विच मीन एक्सेप्ट अल्दी परसेंटेज ऑफ एन पी एस दैट यू वॉन्ट विच मीन की इट एन एन पी एस कैन नॉट बी टू हाई इट कैन नॉट बी टू लो इट हैज टू बी इन दैट रेंज इट इज गोइंग बियॉन्ड दैट इट्स अ प्रॉब्लम टाइम्स वेर योर टीम इज लाइक so emotionally charged with a with a thing and you've had to make the hard call yeah it's actually been reverse mera like ulta hai ke you know my my job with the team over the last 5 6 years has been benefit of doubt pay hmm. okay like th- there has to be a framework right like i am not able i know i can smell it i can smell it's funny but i don't have enough to prove prove okay and unlike uh, maybe a b2b situation where i can ask for four five things yahan aap kuch mang nahi sakte ho like like he is not going to give you any tracking detail nothing is going to give you hmm. and insurance mein aur ek challenge ye hai ki customer aapse kabhi khush nahi ho sakta by and large uska claim nahi aata hai to usko lagta hai paise barbad ho gaye hmm. kyunki isko diye ja raha hu aur kuch vasooli to ho nahi rahi hai hmm. aur claim aata hai to then he is anyways emotionally charged you know gaadi thuk chuki hai next of kin is in the hospital you are not in a good frame of mind right so anything small ticks you off like 10x hmm. you know uh, 10x more so one we've learned that benefit of doubt pay because also as a younger brand you 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 still have to gather we are not an icic we are not a tata or bajaj tata bajaj mein log galti maaf kar dete because that mother brand has been you know so large uh, but as a younger brand you have to probably err on the a little bit on the other side as we are growing larger we are obviously sort of getting better so hmm. the team would say are sir investigate karne do maine kaha tumko nahi mil raha hai to do paise you know like you can you i know it's a fraud but you can't do anything about it right now you can keep going around in circles but you can't you know uh, uh, you, you can't solve for it right now you don't have enough proof to say that this is a are mridul aa jayega wapas to tension mat le tu kharcha kar de paise eh wo back so these frameworks actually develop benefit of doubt so on and so forth second thing i think it's a it's a very outcome driven framework hmm. as i have lost control with the size of the organization to be able to opine on some of these cases ke bahut sare hote hain to one of the things that at least we it's a complete very late stage metric but we look at because disputes hote hain insurance mein insurance is like one of the most disputed you know categories and when you have disputes most people ends up end up going to this ombudsman and consumer courts so we and for an insurance company or a bank or whatever ombudsman and consumer courts are like run of the mill it's part of your life it's not some new big thing has happened so one thing that we judge ourselves is ombudsman mein hamara win rate kya hai jab wo jata hai consumer court so today we have like a 98% win rate ke wahan ja ke hame harna nahi chahiye matlab the diligence on denying a claims has to be so high hmm that we cannot go and bloody lose you know uh, in the consumer court so that's how it's it's a very broad framework that but that allows the team to take a call that i need to be doubly triply sure at yeah. the metric of justice will we win yeah That's we have to win you know like and in india uh that metric is very hard to achieve because courts consumer courts and ombudsman correct, correct. actually don't understand the law they are very empathetic towards the end consumer at the cost of even you know ki ye law mein clearly likha hua hai ki nahi ho sakta hai bechara hai paise de do like they take that take mm-hmm. that view so they are very and in a maybe it's right also that you for a retail consumer you have to be benevolent you have to be more understanding you can't go exactly by the letter of the law mm-hmm. so they are sympathetic towards the end consumer rightly so mm-hmm. and in that sympathetic world view if you can still hold your decision and win 
I think then that's a reasonable space to, yeah. Mridul, I wanted to ask this next question to you and then open it up to the panel. Um, we've seen a, at least I've, tell me if I'm right or wrong. There's a pattern here, which is like, let's take across all the verticals, like create cred, grow, phone pay, and a bunch of other fintechs. They all solve for distribution first and then figure out the business model once the customers are locked in. Everyone is smiling. <laughs> Everyone is smiling. I'm just waiting for the question. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Which is kind of, um, A, this is heavy cash burn, right? Which is kind of contained to the general hawa right now. Uh, you all can continue smiling, by the way. Um, do, you, do you think this is the right strategy? Or have, you, or have you accepted that, look, fintech is going to be a burn-heavy thing and we figure it out figure it out later? What do you think about this? See, I don't think there's one answer. I think, by the way, Varun and Harshil's journey are very opposite to They're different. Yeah, these, right? Like, yeah, these yeah. businesses are imminently monetizable. There are revenue pools that exist. There are examples that exist. One, by the way, one of the reasons, and Varun and I have had an interesting history of where first Varun started Cover Fox. Hmm which was a distribution heavy business to Correct. say, let's build distribution. There also commission pools, by the way, were more identified than let's say some of the names you took. But in the end, you're right. Like it's a fairly expensive journey to build a consumer franchise, especially in fintech in India, because mm. you're competing with new age folks. And you're also competing with, by the way, all established brands, which have a lot of value, but also a lot of marketing budget, right? Correct. So acquiring a fintech customer today is fairly Very expensive, expensive, right? And one of the things we realized at CoverFox and Varun can opine on that much more is, look, unless you have very high organic, very high word of mouth and the gap with the leader is not that much, it's just very hard to cash that raise because you're just doing it, you know, you're just paying the Google Facebook tax, right? Correct. And one of the big realizations then as we discussed the ACO journey and in fact at that time I was reading a book called Value Migration, hmm. which is a really fascinating book about saying in industries and uh, sectors, how do values migrate over time? I remember a discussion with Varun where, you know, we discussed, look, if you really have to innovate on product and pricing, you can't be a distributor, you have to become a manufacturer. Mm. We discussed the fact that if you really want to retain a customer, you might as well be the brand who's underwriting the policy rather than being a distributor because you are acquiring a customer, you're giving it to another brand. I'm going to cover Fox, I'm going to sell another policy and then both are competing to retain the customer. <laughs> and then you lose the commission pool. Hmm. So might as well manufacture. Hmm. At least that discussion and where Varun's genesis of ACO came, some of this reading, at least changed my mind or worldview a lot on these business models, where at least I have been thinking that distribution is becoming, unless you have distribution at massive scale, distribution over time is democratized a lot. And it's a game of both acquiring expensively and then retaining expensively. And therefore, I actually believe in the value of manufacturers a lot more than distribution. So, you know, as a payment gateway, you are the manufacturer of the product. You're not just aggregating. As an insurance company, you are. So that's one answer to saying at least where I feel the values will come. And I also feel a lot of distribution islands and, you know, consumer franchises created today are showing that journey. So in some sense, grow going from a distributor of direct mutual funds where you use that as a wedge to acquire customers becomes a capital markets intermediary, which to me is as good as being a manufacturer, which is a broker. And that's where monetization is beautiful because you look at gross numbers now, like it's such a high operating leverage business. And I guess that's a journey that a lot of other folks will go to. I think today in India, if you're building a tofu, what you call top of the funnel consumer fintech business, I think it's super hard. That, by the way, I'm like, Acquiring that customer and building a franchise of tens of millions of customers, I think that's why be because it's hard. Google Facebook tax. It's going to be so capital intensive and no one's relenting, right? You have fintechs with 80, 100 million MTUs, uh, right? Whether that's payments first. You have fintechs which are manufacturing elegant world class products and servicing them with very simple product wedges, right? Which is, let's say, an ACO of the world. You have gross of the world playing capital market. So, what do you acquire? How do you acquire? You know, you spend 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars to acquire and retain a customer in India today. To build a 10 million, uh, you know, MTU or a annual transacting with a franchise, like hundreds of millions of dollars. No, that's what I asked. Was the vertical clear in all the verticals? No, it's not in all the verticals. But if you're building a tofu consumer fintech model today, let hmm. me actually answer that hmm. one. That I think is a very hard business to build. I think blending wealth everywhere you'll build with transactions and monetization models. Uh, but I am very skeptical of 
tofu models which we'll figure out business models later at least in the market that's transferred i think i'll i'll try and say one of the other things is that the adjacencies don't work as easily as we expect them to work hmm. you know what does that mean uh, i am a large payments guy hmm. i can sell i can sell anything sab kuch cross sell kar de sab kuch cross sell main bech dunga wo adjacency chalti nahi hai हमारे ऑटो इंश्योरेंस कस्टमर को हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस बेचने में तेल निकल जाता है मतलब इट्स नॉट इट्स इट डजेंट वर्क राइट लाइक इट डजेंट सीमलेसली सो सो एटलीस्ट आई एम इन द सेम वर्ल्ड दैट इज आई एम नॉट सेइंग इट्स इम्पॉसिबल बट इट्स वेरी हार्ड यू नो इट्स रियली हार्ड टू बिकॉज एन इन इंडिया ऑल्सो कस्टमर्स हैव आई कीप गोइंग बैक टू द सेम एग्जाम्पल राइट लाइक सो देर वॉज अ पॉइंट इन टाइम वेर पेटीएम हैड बिकम मेनी अर्स अगो पेटीएम वॉज वेरी यू नो aggressive on movie tickets correct okay um, insider ye wo matlab i think 5 6 saal purani baat hai and mm. you know and everybody had written an obituary of book my show mm. you know ke are to kha gaya matlab you know correct. book correct. my show was, but people went back with the discount stop this that happened and then finally that's where i go to see a movie that's where i go to see a movie right like you can be any large app i will not go to amazon i will not go to phone pay that's not where i'm going you may give me two discount vouchers ek do bari maine kuch kar liya wahan pe but main finally to book my show hi jaane wala hu picture dekhne picture bhi to kharab nikli ut type pe so <laughs> whatever it is but it does does tend to happen like that like we we form those destinations in our uh, destinations in our head so mm. i think it's very very hard for that to uh, translate so at least i am in the world that maybe kunal can do it <laughs> he's a mercurial like very different type of founder phone pay is at a very different scale processing probably half of billion, half of india's payments volume or whatever they might but even with 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 phone pay we work with them you know on on insurance it's a great partnership and all that but it's it's not that it the customer like immediately not translates to a new category very quickly phir se tv add karna padta hai phir sab kuch karna padta hai you know you have to build that category again mm. you have to stand for that category in the consumer's mind mm. for even your existing customer base to start considering you for that mm. uh, for that category uh, do some agency adjacencies work better than the others i think credit always works you know <laughs> <laughs> it is a feature <laughs> credit will that i disagree with them yeah uh-huh. credit because that's a credit people <laughs> and people have scaled it like paytm is a great example like uh, current some issues apart but it's a it's it's been an example where you have been able to monetize that at a very very uh, very very large scale you disagree with it why credit is a feature i disagree with hmm. as a point but abhi to keh rahe ye to ki button laga diya aur log to le rahe hain nahi mehnat karni padti hai but it's relatively trans it, it's relatively easier I, i'm not saying there's yeah. no no work to be done there but uh, why, why do you you saw you don't fully disagree you saw it disagree why no no so look so from a agency see see from a customers relationship with you perspective hmm. clearly any day taking money from them will be harder than giving, giving them money. money distribution is so, of, course, of course of course yeah so you are you are payments kar rahe ho then of course you have payments and your money flowing you can always extend credit so at the conceptual level of course yeah but credit as a feature and button lagana is stabilizing the muscle required behind credit right because Fair. the whole machinery that goes behind you know aapko you know insurance and lending are also same in one sense while they are very different flow of money mm. so you have to underwrite the right customer correct you can't hope aa jayega or you can't say law of large numbers will hold because no, then to india mein you know you <laughs> will come and you know you'll go belly up only aapko mm. underwriting banana hai aapko collections banana hai aapko ops banana hai and one of the mistakes a lot of fintech lenders in india have done and that's been a very painful learning for me also is that uh, distribution is the easiest of the puzzle it is expensive but it is the easiest of the puzzle yeah there there a lot of hard, like so for example the reason why a new brand like aco like it's not an icsa tata bajaj which will imminent like you know naturally trust for a financial product is like you have to keep solving the not not just the demand मेरा गाड़ी का बम्पर जो मैं कार इंश्योरेंस कर रहा हूँ वो दस हज़ार में रिपेयर होगा कि आठ हज़ार में रिपेयर होगा अगर वो सप्लाई चेन ठीक नहीं है तो प्राइस बढ़ता रहेगा आपके लिए एंड देन आई एम नेवर गोन बी प्राइस कम्पेटेटिव तो हाउ डू आई ऑप्टिमाइज द सप्लाई चेन ऑफ अ मारुति सुजुकी स्विफ्ट बम्पर रिपेयर जब तक मैं वो नहीं करूँगा आई कैन कीप स्पेंडिंग ऑन एड्स एंड आई नेवर बी एबल टू गेट द राइट प्राइस पॉइंट फॉर द प्रोडक्ट सो दैट डेप्थ ऑफ सोल्यूशनिंग और कलेक्शन ऑन क्रेडिट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टॉप डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लेयर यू कैन गेट एजेंसी to one's point i think the challenge in most fintech things in india is that like except for credit most things like people don't come and discover like you don't come into an app ki payments karne aaye aur insurance chal raha chalo khareed lete hain like you come you the sale is happening beforehand so everyone will 
ٹرائی ٹو ڈو لائک ایڈس اینڈ ادر تھنگ بفور ہینڈ کہ ہاں انشورنس لینا چاہیے ہیلتھ انشورنس اچھا ہے وغیرہ دین کہ سم ڈے یو فیل کہ ہاں انشورنس خریدنا چاہیے تو دین یو ول گو کہ یار ہیلتھ انشورنس کہاں سے خریدتے ہیں پیکو سے خریدتے ہیں تو وہاں سے خریدتے ہیں یو ناٹ ناٹ اوپننگ کی ارے میں نے یہ پیمنٹس ایپ کھولی انشورنس اچھا لگ رہا ہے چلو خرید لیتے ہیں اٹس ناٹ لائک دیز آر ناٹ لائک آف کورس رینڈم پرچیزز یو تھاٹ تھرو سیم اپلائز فار موسٹ سروسز دیٹ پیپل ٹرائی ٹو کراس سیل لائک دا کراس سیل ڈزن ریئلی ہیپن ان دا ایپ بیکاز ڈسکوری ڈزن ہیپن ان دا ایپ ڈسکوری از ہیپننگ آؤٹ سائڈ دین پیپل کم انٹو دا ایپ تو آج مووی دیکھنے کا من کر رہا ہے اس لیے میں بک مائی شو پہ جاؤں گا یعنی کہ ارے ایپ کھولی ارے مووی بھی ٹکٹ بھی رہا چلو لے لیتے ہیں مینٹل ماڈل از آلریڈی کریٹڈ رائٹ لائک سو اینڈ آلسو ود ان دا فائنینشیل سروسز سائنگ یو نو آل آف دیز بزنسز ہیو ویری ڈفرینٹ کسٹمر موٹیویشنز رائٹ سو وین یو ٹیک کریڈٹ آئی مے بی بینکنگ ود بینک فار ٹوینٹی ایئرس لیکن میرے کو کوئی دوسرا نیا فن ٹیک لینڈر یا کوئی نیا آ کے سستے میں لون دے دے گا تو آئی ہیو نو لائلٹی کریڈٹ I say, say, give me a cheaper loan, I'm going to go there. Sasta yeah, faster. Sasta yeah, faster. And also, it's sometimes it's not even complete. Like, I have a loan from ICSC, but my credit demand is not complete. Now, I have another credit demand. Now, I have another app that says, I'll get a loan here. I'll get it here. So, brand doesn't play too much of a role here. In credit. In credit. In credit. I want success. I want you to give me a EMI, give me an interest rate, give me a charge. So, brand plays much lesser. Wealth, somebody who's helping me manage my savings and my money, somebody who can package those solutions for me digitally, physically, whatever that may be, give me the right advice, mutual fund, Bitcoin, whatever I need. Trust matters there. To a degree, but I am also, the value to me is somebody who can package stuff for me, right? Like give me all the options, portfolio, I have to up or down, FD, I have to put money in the mutual fund. Somebody who can do the right advisory, give me a bunch of options. I cannot manufacture, as a wealth player, I cannot manufacture every savings instrument that you want to put your money in. I cannot ma- manufacture real estate and Bitcoin and uh, stop, like I cannot, right? So, so there is value in providing that packaging to you where you can invest your money or at least part of your money. Insurance, it completely changes. I'm giving you money in the hope that you'll pay me back, you know, so the brand becomes Very super yeah. critical. Super you know, it's, I have to believe that you are a company which is likely to pay me back at the point of mishap. So from a, you know, from an ACO perspective, the one big reason we advertise so much is because wo mera, that's my leverage, that people have to trust that they can park their money with me. So all these three businesses, we continue, you know, this fintech layer that we put, I think all of them are just very unique businesses. Yeah. Customer motivations are very different. Kahi mein mere ko brand trust chahiye, kahi mere ko convenience chahiye, kahi mere ko rates chahiye, kahi mere ko packaging chahiye. And then you can't, as one entity, If you're to, to going back to the previous point, can I offer all these wedges to the consumer? It becomes very hard. You know, can I, can I be the best packager? Can I be the most convenient? Can I be the cheapest? Can I also be the most trusted brand? Because all the motivations are very different. And that's why the mental model for the customer is created even before he decides to visit the platform. Because maybe it's not such a conscious thought process as I'm saying it, but that's how they behave. Is it different in B2B, Ashil? Uh, somewhere related, somewhere different. At B2B, may, like the... advantage for the customer is that he can go and talk right so he so a lot of there's a very strong element of sales that comes in between uh, on top of everything else that we are doing so there is a strong element of and uh, decision maker the same here right so b2b or b2c the decision maker is an individual right the two uh, people think b2b as if it's a company coming and deciding <laughs> right so <laughs> it's still an individual sitting in that company just the motivations change a little so <laughs> risk awareness is even more higher in b2b <laughs> right because لائک بی ٹو سی میں میں نے کچھ غلط کرا میرا پیسہ ڈوب جائے گا بی ٹو بی میں پرسن فیلس کی میں نے کچھ غلط کرا میری جاب چلے آئے گی رائٹ سو دا ٹرسٹ دا برانڈ بلڈنگ دا ایبلٹی ٹو سی کہ یار لائک کچھ بھی غلط ہوا ایٹ لیسٹ میری جاب تو نہیں جائے گی رائٹ سو دیٹس وائی بی ٹو بی پیپل گو ایون مور ٹوورڈ برانڈ لوئلٹی کہ یار کسی بڑی کمپنی سے لے لو کل کو کسی نے سوال پوچھا کہ ڈیسیزن کیوں لیا تو آئی کین ایٹ لیسٹ ایس ڈی سی بینک سے لیا تھا سب ایس ڈی سی بینک سے لیتا مطلب اس میں کیا غلطی کر دی اگر یس بینک کا لائک ایشو بھی ہو گیا So nobody's going to come and question my job, yeah? everybody else in the world was buying Yes Bank. Right? So, so you, you have to spend even more time in, and that's why like a lot of people come and say that B2B is not advertising, it's not marketing, 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 you have to do a cohort based marketing, you have to target the marketing, but you still have to do marketing because if the trust is not established hmm. in that sale, my sales guy can be phenomenal and everything, hmm. but if the person feels that yesterday someone asked me yesterday, I was just impressed. But if someone asks you, how did you buy this company, how do I answer that? So, you need to create that trust across the world. That's why we we'll, well, we are a B2B company, you'll see raise up a lot of places, you'll do a lot of marketing. We try to, so in our case, the way the marketing happens is by making our just brand available a lot of places. So that when you hear the word raise up, you say, yes, if you've seen payment, it's always coming. Right? So, so it's not a completely new thing that there's a new company that came and like, it's just the sales guy was phenomenal and sold it. You're 
somebody in your system will also know ki ha razor pay a lot of other people also use so i can also trust with it so you to that trust part becomes extremely important in anything to do with fintech we'll actually we'll actually That's go, why go deeper in network this. effects are also very real yeah, in b2b yeah actually in in b2b in particular when like the same guy who becomes really happy with you and buys your product here goes to a different company and buys your product and hamare also bahut hota hai ki razor pay maine yahan lagaya tha fir mere ko kahi aur company mein jaake he pings me yaar wahan lagaya tha wahan tumne badhiya de tha mere ko yahan bhi lagana Right. So mm-hmm. the network effect is extremely strong, and the other yeah. way around. And right. they'll talk to each other. They'll talk to each other. So to that point is why real no one gets fired for picking an yeah. IBM used to be yes. that saying one. So you wanted to chime in little there. No, I'm uh, no on B B two B. I was saying, and that's where you know this new company visibility becomes hard. I remember when at Seed when we had met, we were diligencing Razorpay, and this is where you know my stupidity comes out. So I called everyone. Who was using existing payment gates? When every cent said, of course, payments success rate may incremental delta a sakta hai, but we are happy. Also, when we reach a certain scale, we'll use X Y Z. I won't name those X Y Z. There used to be companies then. I said, yeah, ये तो यही होने वाला है. The network effect is very real. ये लोग आएंगे. Leaky bucket होगा. Customer आएगा, एक scale करेगा, फिर बोलेगा, I'll go back to the gold standard yeah. because now this is easy to implement, but that is platinum standard. Hmm. And what you missed is that if you fundamentally, genuinely find product goodness. and the network effect catches on so fast and once people use and are delighted with what they're using they will not uh, have you have you shift. had this yeah, yeah a lot right so and his point was valid right we faced a lot of challenge in the our first enterprise customer it took us like 3 years to get him and we started approaching from day one hum ja ke pehle din se ja ke we'll try to meet a flipkart or mintra and all of these guys and people would be like yaar jo keh rahe ho acha hai but i don't know right ki main laga dun aur kuch ho gaya to like my job will be gone so i i'm not going to pick it up and because three years and lot of effort and everything finally we were able to trust get one enterprise guy to trust us sme mein mai scale bahut jaldi milta tha pehla bada enterprise uh, go ibibo go ibibo was the first enterprise customer uh, kaise kya convert uh, the cto right like he was a really good guy and like when he was willing to take a bet kya theek hai mai 50 percent de deta hu 50 percent traffic de dunga agar tumne improve kara to theek hai agar tumne kuch kharab kara dobara life mein meeting nahi mil mangna to to like and we put like all our energies kya we need to prove this one guy because he उसके बाद में जब जिस भी इंटरव्यू लूंगा मैं उसके बाद और ये क्या मैंने उसके बाद हर इंटरव्यू में जाके कहता उससे बात कर लो गोवा भी को सीटीओ से बात करो दैट गाय हैज यूज्ड अस यू कैन आस्क हिम हाउ ही लाइक्ड अस एंड एवरी लाइक आई यूज्ड हिम सो मेनी प्लेसेस कि हर कस्टमर पे उस उस साल बस हर कस्टमर को देना चाहिए उसको मैं कॉल करता कि यार तू इससे बात कर लो लाइक ही हैज यूज्ड अस ही लाइक्स अस ही विल टेल यू कितना 5 10 परसेंट ट्रैफिक एट दैट पॉइंट वाज इट स्केरी टू यू कि फट ना जाए ए इट वाज स्केरी वी हैड टू प्रिपेयर अ लॉट एंड वी न्यू इट इज लाइक अ हिट और मिस चांस कि अगर यहां करा तो एक तो ये यूज नहीं करेगा और हर बंदे को बोलेगा और क्या रेजर पे ट्राई मत करना राइट सो सो द नेटवर्क कस्टमर के चोचले अलग कि फ्लाइट बुक नहीं हो रही है क्या चल रहा है सी एवरीवन लाइक पेमेंट्स इज द फॉर अस पेमेंट्स इज लाइक अ बेस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लाइक इतना मैं मार्केटिंग कर रहा हूं इतना खर्चा कर रहा हूं जिससे कस्टमर की वेबसाइट पे फिर मैं उसके ऊपर क्रॉस मार्केटिंग कर रहा हूं सब कुछ कर रहा हूं ऑफर दे रहा हूं ताकि वो मेरे पेमेंट्स पे जाए अब तुम पेमेंट्स स्टेप पे तुमने खराब कर दिया तो मतलब वो तो मेरा सबसे एक्सपेंसिव कस्टमर है मैंने थाउजेंड्स ऑफ डॉलर्स खर्च करके उसको इस पॉइंट पे लेके आया हूं कि वो पे करने वाला था और तुम्हारे के एंड में लीक हो रहा है फनल के एंड और तुमने ना उसको और बर्स्ट किस तुमने क्या करा जो तुमने पैसे काट लिए और मेरा प्रोडक्ट डिलीवर मेरे को सक्सेस नहीं भेजा अब वो कस्टमर मेरे दोबारा पे करने आएगा नहीं मेरा तो पैसा डग गया वो एक हफ्ते तक वो मेरे को कॉल कर रहा है सो इट इज सच अ क्रिटिकल स्टेप कि लाइक इट्स लाइक लाइक अभी से आवर बिजनेस इज लाइक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कि जब तक चल रही है तब तक चल रही है कोई नहीं कहता कि यार बहुत बड़ी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कंपनी है मेरी बट जिस दिन बट जिस दिन बट जिस दिन फट गया एक 5 मिनट में फट गया कि यार क्या इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कंपनी है यार 5 मिनट में लॉक बंद कैसे हो सकती है अमेजिंग तो आवर बिजनेस इज लाइक दैट कि जब तक चल रहा है तब तक बढ़िया चल रहा है कोई हमें फोन करके नहीं बोलता कि तुम बहुत बढ़िया पेमेंट्स कर रहे हो बट जिस दिन वो फटता है उस दिन आई गेट पेमेंट करा रहा है आजकल आजकल बंद होता जाता है पैसा यार सारा बिजनेस तुम्हारी वजह से ही बन रहा है कोई नहीं कहेगा यार बट फटते ही कॉल आएगा और फटते ही हर लाइक वो फिर नीचे बंदे नहीं टॉप सीईओ का वाला आएगा सीधे कि मेरी 5 मिनट से मेरी पेमेंट्स हो रही है बिजनेस पे क्या कर रहे हो तुम लोग क्या कर रहे हो 2% का वेरी ट्रू सो आई एक्चुअली दिस इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग टाइम टू आस्क यू गाइस ओके आई वांट टू आस्क वरुण फर्स्ट व्हिच इज डू यू रिमेंबर द फर्स्ट बिग लाइक गो आई बी जब फटा नहीं सब बढ़िया चला दैट मस्ट हैव बीन that was your pmf moment for you perhaps was that yeah, for enterprise sme for pmf happened earlier mm. the first two years so. so i want to know what was the first big kind of um, inflection point for you in terms of sales um, and i'll follow it up right after that aapka go ibibo story kya hai uh, i think two things so we ha- we have a of course most of our business is direct to consumer or b2c Correct. we also have a b2b2c mm. uh, play Product. but first when uh, I'll, i'll talk about the auto insurance which was the first thing that we launched mm. Uh, तो शुरू में पैसे तो थे नहीं इतने
तो जब हमने लॉन्च किया ना तो मुझे ही पहले दिन डाउट हुआ तो हमारी इंश्योरेंस लेगा क्यों सी आई हैड कम फ्रॉम अ वर्ल्ड ऑफ कवर फॉक्स वेर आई वॉज सेलिंग बजाज टाटा आई सी एस बेचना था ठीक है वो प्रोडक्ट तो उसका ले रहा है तो इफ माई वेबसाइट इज गुड वो ले लेगा बट या तो मैं ही बजाज हूँ थियोरेटिक और पहले तीन दिन किसी ने नहीं लिया लाइक नो बडी बॉट वी गॉट सम क्वेरीज आर यू एन इंश्योरेंस कंपनी हु आर यू डीलरों के ब्रोकर क्या है पार्टियों के पार्टियों के ब्रोकर लाइक वी वर प्रीटी मच इन प्रीटी मच इन दैट जोन राइट लाइक हमने क्या किया हमारा रेगुलेटर का लाइसेंस नंबर मिलता है उसका बड़ा सा हमने लोगों को पूरा चाप दिया कि हम एक लेजिट यू नो लेजिट कंपनी आई थिंक आई रिमेंबर द फर्स्ट आई डोंट रिमेंबर द गाइस नेम नाउ अनफॉर्चूनेटली बट ही वाज सम गाय फ्रॉम हैदराबाद हु बॉट द बॉट द फर्स्ट पॉलिसी इनिशियली तो मैं सबको फ्रेंड्स को मेल करता रहा यार ले लिया एटलीस्ट लेट्स गेट द फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी थर्टी आई थिंक इट टूक अस अबाउट लाइक अ मंथ वेर एटलीस्ट टेन ट्रांजेक्शन अ डे स्टार्टेड टू यू नो स्टार्टेड टू हैपन सो आई थिंक दैट वॉज वेरी पेनफुल बिकॉज पहले तीन दिन मुझे लग रहा था ये खोल तो ली है कंपनी लेकिन अब हमारा ले लाइक आई हैव कन्विंस्ड ऑल द इन्वेस्टर्स वी शुड मैनुफैक्चर वी शुड बी अ बैंक वी शुड बी एन इंश्योरेंस कंपनी एवरीबडी इज बॉट इन टू इट बट आई डोंट सी वाई आई इवन आई वुड गो इन बाई दिस राइट लाइक राइट मोटर इंश्योरेंस मोटर फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट I think the big inflection point in terms of customer acquisition and all, all, all thanks to you know in, in a meaningful way to Amazon was uh, Amazon also ended up investing in the company mm. and we decided to partner with them on a bunch of small products. So of course mobile phone, insurance. So mobile phone we said this will be a small product. Mm. Uh, we did a lot of work with Amazon. Okay, mobile phone insurance. Because how is it? And then we got to know uh, that our so capacity is not enough. Diwali sale go handle can completely because you know it was a couple of million mobile phones that got insured in two days. Oh shit! Okay, because the flash sale, yeah, the some free offer, insurance free. Samsung is giving free insurance. So we have packaged it. But that scale was crazy to handle, like hmm. absolutely crazy to handle. We had some three, four million customers overnight. Hmm. You know, not that they had very high affinity with Echo because hmm. it was like a tick product. Hmm. But at least for us, that was like, hmm. my God, what has happened? Like, there's so many people have, uh, uh, so many people had come in, and very quickly we had done some partnerships with uh, IBBO, Ola. Hmm. Uh, so at one point, very early in our journey, within the first year, we were pretty much handling, like, all it had almost become like a you know b2b business in some sense because ola amazon a uh, couple of the large travel uh, travel guys so pretty much india mein jo 70% traffic tha wo to hit kar raha tha mm. you know uh, and the sleepless nights on ke wo server na phat jaye amazon bahar nikal dega <laughs> ola bahar nikal dega and you are very weak on your infrastructure yeah? you are like a 30 40 member you know uh, company so i think those that's when like millions of customers started flowing through the ecosystem I think that those those two things I remember in the first year. So, pehle pehle team members, especially when you are just thirty forty people, who are the what are some critical hires you need to make early on? And I know we're on the next level podcast. Many people here will be making their profiles on next level. So, yeah, early early team. Is me fin kitna zaruri or tech kitna zaruri hai? Pehle pehle early team me. Ah, yeah, mali to fin or tech to. I mean, specific roles play very important. But I think early team. I'll talk about like. 10-15 पीपल तो लाइक फिनटेक सेकेंडरी होता है इट्स मोर लाइक यू फाइंड पीपल हु जो कुछ भी करने को रेडी हो लाइक देर जर्नलिस्ट कोई जर्नलिस्ट कोई कोई क्लियर नहीं होता कोई सेल्स क्लियर नहीं होता मतलब हमने स्टार्टिंग में भी एड लाइक वी हेड थ्री बिजनेस गायज वी कॉल दम बिजनेस गायज कि जो भी टेक प्रोडक्ट नहीं हो सब तुम्हारा तो चाहे लीगल एग्रीमेंट रिव्यू करना हो चाहे मार्केटिंग करना हो चाहे सेल्स करना हो सेल्स कस्टमर को लाइव करना है ऑपरेशन करना है सपोर्ट टिकट आया तो हैंडल करना है जो भी टेक प्रोडक्ट नहीं हो सब तुम्हारा राइट तो और टेक प्रोडक्ट में ये होता है टेक प्रोडक्ट में मतलब पहली बार टेक प्रोडक्ट अलग नहीं था इंजीनियर आए करेंगे उसको फुल स्टैक इंजीनियर फुल स्टैक इंजीनियर इज अ वेरी वियर टर्म राइट लाइक कोई नो बडी लर्न फुल स्टैक राइट लाइक पीपल बिकम फुल स्टैक इन जनरली दैट टर्म इज फाउंड ओनली स्टार्टअप फुल स्टैक मीन्स की जो आएगा सब तुम्हें करना है मतलब तुम ही बैकेंड बनाओगे बैकेंड भी तुम्हें बनाओगे फ्रंट भी तुम्हें सी एस एस भी तुम्हें लिखोगे एस सी ओ भी तुम्हें करोगे सब तुम करोगे एंड टू एंड सो वही इनिशियल टीम इज लाइक दैट कि ऐसे लोग लेके आने चाहिए जो बाउंड्री से लिमिटेड नहीं हो and then generally in that stage the mistake that a lot of founders make is ki you start hiring based on experience and that fails okay you like we try to hire like some very really senior guy who had worked at this bank and was a seller payment gateway sales guy it doesn't work because 
उसको जिस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के साथ ऑपरेट करने की आदत होती है वो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर तुम्हारे पास होता ही नहीं तो वो कहेगा कि हाँ मैं भागूंगा सीधे दौड़ूंगा बट वो कहेगा यार ये ये नहीं है मेरे पास लीगल वाला बंदा कौन सा तुम्हारा कोई लीगल वाला बंदा ही नहीं है तो तुम्हारा ये वाला बंदा कौन है एंड ये नो आइडिया कि यार लीगल वीगल कैसे करते हैं मेरे को तो सेल करना आता है मैं जाके सेल करूँगा राइट सो डू डू इट इज़ वेरी हार्ड फॉर दिस लाइक रियली एक्सपीरियंस टॉप एंड फोक्स इन देयर बिजनेस टू फिट इन दैट स्टेज दैट यू नीड टू रीच द लेवल ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर दैट स्टार्ट हैपनिंग एट I think 80-100 level employee company you start reaching that level of infrastructure. Ki you can get these top end guys and give them the right support. Make it happen. It doesn't mean ki koi bhi experienced by guys cannot be found. A lot of experienced guys who work in that, but generally those people are very different DNA. They're not necessarily the top end guys there, but they are people who are willing to spread out here and there. And jo humne dekha ki generally the most successful people for us in those days were people in great companies, but generally very unhappy in those companies. Unko adhoti sab kuch karne ki aur unko unko somewhere these companies constrain them. तो वो लार्ज कंपनीज में कंस्टेंट होते हैं कि यार मेरे को तो सब कुछ करना है मेरे को ये भी करना है वो भी करना है बट ये कंपनी कहती है सिर्फ ये करो राइट सो दोस्ट पीपल हैव वर्क बेस्ट फॉर अस इन द अर्ली डेज दैट दे आर रियली हैप्पी देयर एंड वी बॉट दे मेयर एंड का कि यार तुम्हें जो करना है करो नो बट इज़ आस्क यू इनफैक्ट हमारे पास लोग हैं भी नहीं और कुछ करने के लिए तो जो करना है सब तुम करो बट जस्ट मेक इट हैपन एंड दैट फ्लू वेल इन द इनिशियल एटलीस्ट इन फोर्टी फिफ्टी पीपल दो सौ पीपल वी कैप हायर Varun, same question to you. So th- these are completely irrational people. The first thirty, forty <laughs> people, right? Like uh, you have to call them Parallel irrational, huh? Because unka, मतलब it is almost like a smoked up decision, right? Because yes. आपकी कंपनी चले ही नहीं चले ही पता नहीं है पैसे भी हम पूरे नहीं दे रहे हैं यू नो तीन आपको जो काम नहीं भी आता है वही आपको वो आपको करना है लाइक एवरीथिंग आउट ऑफ योर कंफर्ट जोन सो देर इज सम लेवल ऑफ इरेशनैलिटी मिशन ओरिएंटेशन वॉट एवर इट इज यू डोट नो वॉट वॉट दे आर बट दे आर हैप्पी टू जॉइन द कॉज either because of personal relationships or belief in what you're building and mostly the first 30 40 people are frankly at least for me have been either people i knew or references or ek ke through koi aur aa gaya matlab these were really because nobody wants to build their career with you at this point right like they are not coming to you with yaar mera career ban jayega they are just somehow excited with what you're trying to do and are happy to take a shot you know and dekhte hain kya hota hai like you know sort of situation and that risk capability to take that risk is there and exactly like harshil sir like everyone's doing everything jisko code nahi likhna aata hai wo kisi ladke ko pakdega bahar wo bola ye nahi ban raha mere se tum bana ke de do you know like whatever it is they 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 pretty much do everything and similarly when we started i think we had three people from insurance we had to deal with the regulator hamara to day one regulate uh, regulated tha to regulator mein you know when you had the large companies icsa bajaj tata or whatever all these guys they have like regulatory interfacing teams like <laughs> like you know you have the legal the compliance you know and you know we had some people just because we needed to do their interview all of us were very young हमने कभी किया नहीं था हमारा कंप्लायंस पर्सन कुछ पाँच छः साल एक्सपीरियंस तो हम ही सब लगे हुए हैं तीन ही लोग जा रहे हैं रेगुलेटर के पास भी जा रहे हैं कि हमारा प्रोडक्ट अप्रूव कर दो पीछे कोड भी कोई लिख रहा है आई थिंक दर इज दर्टी ऑट पीपल आई थिंक इज जस्ट इन रैशनैलिटी दैट गेट्स यू देर आई आई डोंट थिंक देर इज एनी लॉजिक दैट कैन गेट यू पास दैट इनिशियल स्टेज अदरवाइज इज आर नॉट लॉजिकल कॉन्वर्सेशन आप लोगों को आधी सैलरी दे रहे हो बोले एक साल बाद देखते हैं सो गैमलिंग टाइप माइंड सेट की लाइक करते हैं देखते हैं कि कुछ चलेगा नहीं चलेगा सो दीज आर लाइक कम्प्लीटली एयर रैशनल एंड टू दिस पॉइंट लाइक लोग इतने कम होते हैं फॉर दस वी हैव टू गेट दिस पी सी आर सर्टिफिकेशन ऑन डे वन क्योंकि यू कॉन्ट स्टार्ट एक्सेप्ट कार्ड एंड दीज सर्टिफिकेशन आर नॉट बिल्ड फॉर लाइक थ्री पीपल फाइव पीपल कंपनीज तो आया वो कहते हैं इसमें हाँ हुज योर सीसो हुज योर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हुज योर सिक्योरिटी यार हम तीन लोग हैं अब तीन लोग अलग अलग नाम लिख दो किसका कैसे लिखा हूँ मैं कि चार चार पाँच लोग अलग अलग कौन से हैं और उनका प्रोसेस है कि वो फॉर्म में भरना है पाँच लोगों का नाम वी डेंट हैव फाइव पीपल So, so these, these. who was your best early hire and what made them stand out to you? Do you remember any anecdotes? Koi koi diggya or you just took a chance on them and like there was a moment where they were like, "This is my work." Yeah, there's this guy who's still with us. Uh, hmm. He's uh, now, in fact, going to take on the CEO role after six, seven uh, years. I had the same name. I yeah, Arun will say the same name. Animesh, you know, <laughs> he Animesh. Was a, Animesh. He was a he, his total work experience before joining uh, joining us was like three years. IIT Kharagpur uh, kid. Uh, he happened to have some insurance experience because वो Lombard की ICICI में analytics team में एक डेढ़ साल कुछ किया था उसने and like he's saying right like uh, we also didn't know हमारा risk officer कौन है chief underwriter you have all these positions with the regulator hmm. Hmm. across companies that you need to show यही है इसको ले जाओ सब यही है Animesh underwriter भी है Animesh वो भी है and he would uh, of course do the job internally what was required and he would play that role right like, almost act out like yeah, i am the chief underwriter or whatever it is so these guys are you know they 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 understand the context of what you're trying to do and are happy to play any you know any role 
and even today you know it's been it's been almost 7 years and uh, i and i keep saying this to other members in the team i'm just saying it here never once in 7 years we've had a salary conversation never once you know ke ke mere ko itna stock chahiye mujhe itna salary chahiye main isko report nahi karunga main ye hoga mera wo hoga they are matlab it, it it's ulta right the kind of conversations i have with them acha is saal increments kitne kyun de rahe hum itna kyun de rahe hum ko itna you know whereas a, as you grow larger right the teams are also wanting to get more money grow their careers and all that but there are these some guys right who are always company first like why are we spending this money ye waste ho raha hai ye dekho yahan ye ho raha hai you know like how can i fix it and i think these are exceptional people right they are almost like you know that kal aapko kuch ho jaye to chabi aap inko de sakte like they are at another level of commitment yeah middle in your experience what are the best founders uh, what are some hiring frameworks that you've heard from them yaar kuch kuch to varun abiraj inhi logo se suna in fact i remember varun only told me i think i i asked him actually this question more for my portfolio saying what's your hiring philosophy for early hires and said hire swiss knives which is pretty much Correct. this journalist like hire people who will do everything possible i think also in early days a little controversial statement more like loyalty more than pure play merit which is hire for chemistry hire for them sticking along and carrying along with you of course as you grow forward some people will go some people will not grow like animesh is a great example of someone who's grown okay then na ki aadmi 19 nahi ki kaam 19 chalega aadmi 20 chahiye ah yeah exactly yeah तो मुझे लगता है यही कुछ फ्रेमवर्क्स हैं कि यू नो पीपल हु आर इरैशनली स्टिकिंग अलॉन्ग विद यू बिलीव इन द कॉज आर एबल टू प्ले मल्टीपल हैट्स यू विल दो एंड अप रियलाइजिंग आई आल्सो सीन ओवर फाइव सेवन टेन इयर्स जर्नी एंड बोथ अर्शिल एंड वरुण वुड बी विटनेस टू दैट इज लाइक नॉट एवरी विल ग्रो एंड देयर फॉर टीम्स ऑल्सो सीम टू कीप गेटिंग रिफ्रेश एवरी थ्री फाइव ईयर्स आई थिंक थ्री ईयर साइकिल एंड काफ़ी रिफ्रेशिंग होता है टीम का विच इज़ ऑल्सो ट्रू Yeah, I think the other big learning is that as you scale and you start getting more senior people uh, into the ecosystem, uh, who are a lot more structured in in the way they operate. Or uh, I think one thing that I've constantly learned to look out look out for is that us me kitni insecurity hai, that mm. that that senior leader because you know a lot of them come from different cultures. Who agar 10 percent be insecure hai na, wo banda. like it's just very difficult for senior senior leaders i am really not looking too much at capability because andar aake samajh jate hain log like half smart people are able to figure their way out right like but even those smart people if there's a, even a, like a 10% bit of insecurity it just gets very hard because the guy at the top or a senior level wo agar insecure hai na so i think that's my biggest there's no clear way to judge it uh but something are tell tales right jo matlab who who in the interview is looking for a title you know jo title ki baat karta hai role ki baat kam karta hai title ki baat zyada nahi but wo chalakta hai like you can you can get a sense that he's more attached to the title than the depth of the work that you're doing so these are some tell tales of you know there's a little bit of insecurity i need that authority i need people to look at me a certain way you know my previous designation in goldman sachs was director so i need to be called senior director you know हमारे यहाँ वो डेजिग्नेशन है कि नहीं है उसको फर्क नहीं पड़ता है उसको यू नो ही ही वांट्स टू मैप हिज प्रीवियस डेजिग्नेशन सो दैट इन लिंक्ड पे उसका कोई डाउनग्रेड नहीं दिखना चाहिए बाय एनी स्ट्रेच ऑफ इमेजिनेशन राइट लाइक इट डजेंट मैटर इट मे बी अ मच मोर मीटियर रोल बट वो रोल से कॉन्वर्सेशन ना वो वहाँ चली जाती है और जब वो वहाँ जाती है दैट बिकम्स अ वेरी अनकम्फर्टेबल बिकॉज आफ्टर स्टार्टअप स्केल इट बिकम्स अ लेस सेक्सी ऑफर फॉर दो लुकिंग फॉर glory right so you got to probably meet yeah. meet up the positions from that perspective uh, the, the challenge is that like the personalities of people who help the startup go from 0 to 10 and 10 to 100 and 100 to bigger like it's are quite different so sometimes it is important for the for you to figure out like ki jo banda 0 to 10 mein bahut badhiya tha because he was a gen- generalist and you need a generalist to sell and everything now you have had a really strong sales guy who tumhara 10 to 100 stage mein pmf stage mein you had a really strong sales guy who's leading the team Of course, he'll outperform this guy in sales. Right? Like, there's no doubt in that because that bande he has his connections. He knows how to sell. उसको भागना आता है. And now you're given the infrastructure that's needed. He can run much faster than anyone else that you have who can do ten things at once. You need to find what will keep this guy excited. Right? You need to find the next challenge. वो उसको मैं कहूँ कि यार तू इस चीज़ बंदे से compete कर और इससे better कर वो नहीं कर पाएगा. Right? He has his strength. That guy has his strength. And you need to find people. So, like for us, like one of these generalist guys that we hired, right? He helped. 
did everything initially, finance, legal, sab kar raha hai wo. Then we had a senior enterprise sales guy. I asked him to set up the SME sales team. He set it up. Zero to one guys are good at setting up new teams, new structures. Now SME bhi ek badiya. We had an external guy. He's leading it. I gave him a charter of setting up. A, we were setting up a new business called Razor Pex. I gave him a charter of that. Kya I had to find like zero to ten or ten to hundred journeys for him, where he will shine. Right? I'm going to give him a journey. 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 I'm going to give him you know some of these governmental issues or you know some guy kind crying ke mera you know offer letter mein aapne ye bola tha hr ne to ye likh ke de like you start getting into these various sundry issues right and you can't not find them you, sh- you as a founder you have to solve for them you can't say that's boring mere ko this mere ko to product mein mazaa aata hai mere ko product mein mazaa aata hai aur wo agar wo founder product mein involved rehta hai aur company build out pe dhyan nahi aata hai then the company is not really building it's crumbling यू नो लोग हायर हो रहे हैं बट किसी को क्लैरिटी नहीं है करना क्या है पीपल आर ए डिफरेंट पे पैकेजेस सैलरी पैरिटी नहीं हो रही है इश्यूज होने शुरू हो रहे हैं कोई एक जीएसटी का नोटिस आया हुआ है या कुछ नोटिस आया हुआ है विच यू नो यू नीड टू फिगर आउट हाउ टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू हुज द राइट कंसल्टेंट हु कैन हेल्प यू नो ऑल ऑफ दीज इज इज रियली यू नो बोरिंग जॉब्स दीज आर नॉट द एक्साइटमेंट विद विच यू स्टार्टेड द कंपनी लाइक गिवन एनी डे आई वुड स्पेंड लाइक अगर मेरे को आज मौका मिले तो मैं आठ से दस घंटा मैं प्रोडक्ट की स्क्रीन पे लगा दूं कि ये बटन ठीक क्यों नहीं दिख रहा है ये हम ये क्यों कर रहे हैं बट यू कैंट डू इट यू कैंट यू आर इंटरफेसिंग विद द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट हाउ पीपल आर कमिटेड टू द कॉज आर दे फीलिंग हैप्पी आर दे नॉट तो दैट्स वेन आई से फाउंडर्स डोंट स्केल एज द नंबर ऑफ इशूज द ब्रेड स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग देयर ब्रेड डज इंक्रीज दे दे डोंट आई एम आई एम नॉट आई एम सेंग इट मे बी लिटल मोर नेगेटिवली कितना डेलीगेट करना है कब डेलीगेट करना है अब ऐसा भी होता है कि कहीं बार आप डेलीगेट कर कर दो अलग लोगों को कुछ अलग चीज़ें डेलीगेट करिए इसको मुझे देखने की जरूरत नहीं है बट इसको मेरे को चेक रखना है यू नीड टू स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग दैट न्यू आंस ऑफ वेयर आई कैन डेलीगेट बट स्टिल कीप अ वॉच वेयर आई कैन जस्ट फोगेट अबाउट इट यू नो एंड आई नीड टू स्केल माई सेल्फ टू बी एबल टू बिकॉज आई हैव ओनली टेन आवर्स और ट्वेल्व आवर्स इन अ डे दैट पार्ट गेट्स ट्रिकी सो दी थिंग्स डेलीगेशन इज इम्पोर्टेंट एंड हार्डेस्ट प्रॉब्लम फॉर फाउंडर्स इज डेलीगेशन इज वेरी हार्ड बिकॉज बिकॉज जरूरी है You
सपोज दस घंटे हैं तो अभी क्या स्प्लिट चल रहा है आप दोनों का वेर इज इट बींग स्प्लिट नाउ माई डेलीगेशन लाइक आई स्टार्टेड दिस फ्रेम वर्क अर्ली ऑन की लाइक आफ्टर कंपनी स्टार्ट के लिए आई फेल्ड आई एम नॉट डेलीगेटिंग अर्ली इज की If anything is taking more than thirty percent of my time, I need to find somebody to take it. Like, like I can't have hmm. spend thirty, forty percent of my time on nice one thing. Hmm. Like, so, who product is, tech is, even people manage, whatever it is, hmm. I can't take like thirty, forty percent of time. I have put there, so something will be start suffering in the company. Hmm. Right? So, anything starts taking twenty, thirty percent. People have different framework. You feel that, yeah, I spend a lot of time on it. I need to find hire somebody or find somebody internally. That this thing now you own, and I will hmm. oversee it. Hmm. So that is the overall framework. So nothing takes that much. there are some core things that always be with you for example things like investor relations and stuff like that like that you can't completely delegate but still you have to find a way to reduce the amount of time you spend on one particular thing but what are you spending time on now yeah uh, uh, i think there are always uh, in a in a journey of a company there will always uh, if you're scaling there will be mature products mature businesses mature teams then there'll be new products new verticals you know newer surface areas so i think at least organically the way it is developed for me is that your time with the mature pieces starts to come down and you're like chalo ek mahine mein ek bar review kar lenge ke kya chal raha hai so that that allocation is only like maybe 2 3 hours in a month you know it's a like auto for us is a fairly large business now it's a mature business people know what to do where the levers are kya improve karna hai 20% challenges bhi hain to logon ko context puri team ko bahut hi clear hai matlab i don't think i can add Hmm. you know more value maybe i can say something which can help them 5% but i can't meaningfully change the path good one beta keep yeah. going <laughs> <laughs> so the clarity aa jati hai i think wo wo time ke sath na the institutional knowledge also builds in that space so people know kind of what to do uh, then you have the zero to one businesses like life insurance for us is like a completely new business right so there you end up like almost being part operator right because you don't want the uh, kick off to get go wrong uh, if the kick off goes wrong correcting it is like a uh, uh, huge challenge so i think mature businesses very little time newer businesses take maybe 20 30% you know uh, of the time uh, and maybe two more things that i'd like consciously try to spend time on is trying to create the right frameworks and context for people ye you wo bolte na jitna bhi communicate kar lo kam hai you know over communication is key ensuring that why we are doing something is clear to people and wo uh, otherwise interpretations are many you know how do you get that clarity uh, how do you create processes in which logo clarity hai and everybody is on the same page having everybody on the same page in both in terms of vision and execution well, is very hard it's easier said than yeah done. easier said than done maybe to a point where it feels absurd to you yeah main to bahut zyada baar ye bol raha hu main ha exactly like right? absurd lagega tab tak hi wo tabhi jaake wo sahi hai wo tab like jab tak it's not to me nahi lagega ki ye bahut zyada baar bol liye to like i have to tell myself ki yaar ye bol raha hoga yaar muh band kare ya kitni baar bole ye baar bole ye cheez wahi that is the right point that is the right point and and it's not because i'm not i'm not saying this is from an intellectual capability of the teams to understand they are all smart people mm. it is just that everybody has a slightly different lens mm. sabka 10 10% lens farak mm. hoga aur panch log us project ko kar rahe to 50% alag ho jayega basically or 50% the chain the industry leke bahar chale gaye fir discuss kare mereko to lagta hai wo ye keh raha tha yeah so that 10 10% lens layer changing is like a big difference to what you were trying to execute versus what is getting hmm. you know executed and the rest of it is so, this is not like a conscious time spending thing but it's more and more on my mind that i should be doing this what are the better ways to do this which are the five six people that i can you know put on this track in a way that you know there's absolute clarity on how we operate like i'll i'll give you a you know so say what is the way to take any complicated decision when data is not there like abhi kya karna hai matlab like this can be the gut call right at the end of the day finally sab aapke paas aayenge ki ab batao karna kya hai ab ye gut call decision hai now if i am the gut call guy not that you don't have a gut uh, but it's it's a choke point hmm. you know I, because these decisions will always be a choke point so jaise ki hamare business mein kya hai humko growth chahiye humko high quality growth chahiye hmm. quality of growth chahiye humko risk zyada nahi lena hai we are a risk business right and there is nps i said distill every decision down to ye char cheez mein kya ho raha hai hmm. you're going for higher growth okay great is quality of growth suffering i don't know you're going for higher risk is nps suffering like everything is a trade off hmm. if if that trade off is acceptable to you take that decision how do you create a framework that you don't become the because essentially i am not consciously articulating this decision in my head the way i am articulating it right now but it's natural to me but how do you create that natural into a you know framework that this is how you need to weigh if this is the trade off you should take the 
you should take the call so this is where you end up and you, know, you having worked at like larger orgs before yeah. you started your journey yeah. that was something has you did you did you work no you directly jumped into yeah. building a behemoth I but like 6 months in shlam boys but i don't think that counts but yeah. ye isme to fatti to hongi na cheez that's what you meant like the founders have to scale like, they, they have to scale they have to scale you how you got to write the first time around bro brilliant <laughs> right you spend a lot of time like talking to a lot of people like everybody is like scaling one of the important aspect for founders is also to learn right like to or wo internal learning becomes harder and harder as org scales up because log to tumse aage puchne like we are not coming and telling you so you are not learning a lot internally you have to go out and talk to a lot of people and meet other people of course investors play a role your board plays a role but then there are other founders other people in the ecosystem you find a lot of people and sabse converse karo ki yaar main ye karne sochu kaise like how do you think how do other people think and that's how you try to build that framework and you will go wrong as any nobody like even even if you are the most experienced founder you will make mistakes because even if you are experienced in one company building a startup is its own it's, it's a, i don't think that i don't think if uh, with all kudos to harsha i don't think that lot of that corporate experience really counts it doesn't matter maybe God, t- tell me some relevant. like obvious fuck ups you made when you were scaling like in hiring like for example like in senior hiring one of the common mistakes that uh, that i learned easily and i still keep advising ki senior hiring me interviews don't play any role बात नहीं करो तो समझ जाएगा बहुत बढ़िया लग रहा है It means it's not like he, he, HR guy, has two names, and HR has called him and asked him what he thought was right. It's a deep rep check where you call this, like somebody who has worked with, and ask specific questions. What is his condition? What is his condition? The guy might only even not know that he is telling you something which is bad for him because he is just saying that he is just operating. And that you have to figure out that that kind of person would it fit in your role or would it not fit in your role? Because like senior senior leader hiring going wrong. Has a disaster consequence throughout. Yeah. Hmm. That's why he never gets to recover. Because hmm. internally, people suddenly feel that if someone is hiring, he is such a guy, then maybe the org wants this only. Hmm. And wo, you also want to give them space. Then you get a guy, and you generally hire these senior people because they'll do things a little bit differently and, and more autonomously. More autonomously. So you don't want to interfere every decision. You have to bundle in a lot of decisions. So two three decisions, you have to back them as well. And then you figure out that it's not working out. And then you correct it, but the org has learned something from the decisions taken in the last six months. You have to go and course correct them. so disastrous consequence for a period of 6 8 months or more nidul you've seen varun go 0 to 1 and then 1 to 10 and then 10 to 100 right like how have you seen him change i'd love to know from your perspective yeah. you have observed him from you know you have a more objective view on what's going on i'd love to know that actually varun and i were having drinks for two days back yeah yeah mm. and i told varun that uh, he's become calmer he's calmer. become much more calmer mm. and I think it's a function of three, four things. I think one is, of course, when you start early raising money, mm. you have raised rounds very fast. Mm. Then you have to justify that valuation. You have to keep growing. Then you have tough times raising money. Like it's just, and you're younger also. Mm. So I think Varun, at least in my interactions or whatever I observe now, like over time, I've seen Ravi Varun's become much more peaceful, much more calmer, much more zen-like. Uh, because still the problems are same actually problems are multiplied you have a much larger company much larger span of control mm. i also think part of it is because at aco now finally at least amongst the set of 3 4 5 people i see surrounding varun it feels like a very very solid stable team so much credit is also both to varun's hiring but them also coming and performing um and i think a lot of what at least i felt outside in varun can correct me was like in the cover fox or early aco journey a lot of it was what he was saying gut calls seat of the pants calls we won't know we'll do it but as a large company should and as a regulated largely governed company should i think a lot of decision making now also seems very methodical 
um, and I've also seen the lens on, you know, what Varun said, grow, not just growth, but quality growth. I think the way on, weightage on that quality growth has increased over time. Is he right, right or are you feeling like aapko kya bata chudni babu <laughs> <laughs> this was just my perception no, no, there <laughs> is there is probably I, I would say 10 15 percent more chaos than he imagines but uh, <laughs> not i wouldn't say 50 percent more chaos than he imagines <laughs> uh, but zero bhi nahi hai, lekin pachas bhi nahi hai. there is there's always chaos course, right uh, like there's always a little bit of dirty laundry or like you know there's there's, there's some things to handle you know which are always not going uh, uh, correctly it only comes out depends on how long yeah. it rigging parts for of me. the house that <laughs> parts of the house are all <laughs> nothing is always perfect right there are parts of the house which always need some sprucing some cleaning some some fixing or whatever it is but i think uh, by and large uh, one of the things that we've kept fairly close to our see, when when we started the business as a regulated entity na hame and I'll, and i'll say this i don't i don't have good words for this but the regulator used to think that ye to pakka garbar karenge hmm. correct okay. like because as, as they should for as some they time. should yeah. right like so uh, because we were like some bunch of in the regulator's eyes kids who are saying we want to run an insurance company and insurance company are largely the big conglomerates in india the big banking houses in india and all of that it's a big daddy business like correct, it's not correct, like correct. a you know two guys in a garage you know correct, uh, correct, correct. Uh, sort of business so and that suspicion mm. uh, made us, you know, say that, yeah, we cannot be at this situation, right? Like, so keep your head down, you know, don't try to, don't try to be this uh, extra brave, uh, extra brave company. Mm. Uh, keep listening to them, keep talking to them, keep engaging, uh, keep the governance levels high, over, over invest on the governance side. So I think what team may be thought, you know, that can we get somewhere a year, year and a half faster? The answer is yes. But if we'll break a few things and in our business, breaking those few things can have like a large, large repercussion, a large, large repercussion. So I'll, I'll give you an example, right? As a regulated entity, there is no month in our existence in the in, in a year where no audit is happening. Correct. Koi na koi to audit chali ra hota hai. Kabhi main bhool jata ye kaun sa abhi to khatam hua tha. Like it's, you know, almost, almost like that, right? And it's very painful for the teams, especially young, hungry teams. It's very, very painful who want fast growth, who want a much more dynamic career. That you are explaining to them once again that this will be audited. In my house, move fast and break things is a poster. And you are saying that an auditor will come, he will ask 50 questions, he will ask this, 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 there is no documentation on the code. This, like you have to build yeah, that institution. Yeah, right? Basic things sometimes you will keep here. Like, in the mein aapke log badge laga ke nahi ghumre office mein. Like, like, the auditor will have an issue with those as well. And you will be like, yeah, I am a startup, I don't want any log badge laga ke nahi. <laughs> but the auditor will say, no, we have to check that you have to see employees identified and see that employee. Hmm. So you'll have to fix those things. What is access to data, data analyze karna hai, 50 rules in which data will go, which data will go, which data will not go, go. You know, so teams are waiting that I will get a login, then I will get data analyze, then I will get approval. Lagega. So teams struggle, right? And they're like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Time waste. But I think, I think slowly now over the years, you've gotten to a point where people have started to understand that this is important. If you have to build a large outcome, you have to do all these things. And then they start appreciating it over a period of time. I think these are these are things that we've had to learn. Uh, but uh, I, I, I don't have to struggle with it every day. Yeah. The, the fintech space, Pridul, is... Uh, of course, there's... The, all regulators have an eye on all the different verticals there, right? So now when you are dealing with fintech founders, I'm sure some frameworks have come to mind on, hey, this is how you deal with regulators. Because it's, it's going to be an ever-evolving, constant engagement that you're going to have to have. What are some frameworks that have that you have, you tell founders? See, I think over time, clearly compliance at the heart of your thinking day one, day zero is very important. Mm. Uh, I think everything regulators have regulated on or every change that you've seen has been more around saying, look, become a regulated entity and have processes around certain things. You could say that at least I would say even five, seven years back, I would also maybe not appreciate that fully and say, look, okay, we're building a platform business, we're building a fintech business. But the fin being as important as tech, tech. has become a very, very acute realization. So pretty much in every uh, new deal that we do, uh, A, I wouldn't say that's the only archetype. One archetype that I definitely look for is someone who's 
dealt or has a compliance first mindset at least even if not experience by that logic obviously both of them <laughs> when they were raising seed money would get ruled out but in some areas it's very important like you know if you're building a lending and balance sheet heavy business i think you better have some credentials and standing right two i would say licensing roadmap has become very important so with most startups that we have funded at different stages we go and sit down with them and have a chat and saying look what's the licensing roadmap because you have to be under some regulated entity you can't be operating in a area where it is a free zone or a gray zone you know at some point those free zone those arbitrages look very attractive correct because you have no governance cost you have no governance structure needed but i actually think opposite now i rather push startups to say please get governed please bear that governance structure linked cost linked overheads because then you are in the clear so i would say some of the diligence lenses and some of the archetype lenses or some of the mindset lenses have changed has it changed over the last decade or so i think it has changed massively and i would say last 3 to 5 years massively so and i think it's very natural also see the evolution is when you start uh, very small everyone small but when companies uh, reach a certain scale and when you're processing as startups single double digit percentages of india's money flows Uh, it is important uh, so it's a very natural evolution uh, it's a very natural learning and these are now very natural frameworks we start we actually in our deal checklist have compliance mindset day 0 as a checklist point and as multiple things we check for and have a discussion on brizul i want to start with you on this question okay when fintech companies start they are often relying on traditional banking infrastructure um at least at the very beginning be it loan books insurance credit cards what is the right time for them to start building their own infra uh, you know for example like okay lending we discussed but you need to raise capital if you want to start lending on your own what is the right time for for founders have you seen a pattern in your portfolio when founders start looking at their own infra you mean infra as in technology you mean infra as in balance sheets or balance sheets and all yeah maybe becoming a regulatory yeah. entity yeah 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 look i don't think there is one pure play answer uh, i've seen two archetypes i've seen one archetype where a founder would come from a traditional industry knows the playbook really well has a credibility both with the regulator to get a license day one has a credibility with lenders let's say if it's banking let's say if it's payments with the payment systems let's say if it's insurance with the insurance guys to also get the right licenses right kind of lending and they will day one start with a license uh, with a regulated entity and with a fairly known understood what one could call quote unquote traditional model and that archetype also works really well uh, right so if you look at uh, things like you know most affordable housing finance companies or more traditional lenders in india who have scale actually that's the archetype that has really scaled well because those businesses require that kind of scaling the other archetype is look you've started out as a platform you have some unique consumer insight you have some unique wedge you've created on saying look this product for this set of consumer works really well and there uh, there is no right uh, answer to like what stage but i think if you're reaching a critical mass uh, you would start feeling supply side pains so let's say if you build a platform business on lending you realize yourself that a lot of lenders want skin in the game a lot of lenders are asking look do co lending with me a lot of uh, regulators uh, uh, will ask the banks and the financiers you have questions on saying what is this entity and you will realize very soon and i would say by you know series b or so you will realize that you want a regulated entity in and therefore as i said like my bias actually is now to say look day one let's get in the line and get something uh, you can't start a payment business without a proper license i mean you could be an aggregator of aggregators but i think very soon you know arshil can speak about it so you can't start the business varun is doing without being regulated so by and large i would say these businesses are businesses where day one you have to start thinking licenses you can wait out 12 18 24 months to reach critical scale you could take a world view to say look i will only be a distribution business and then investors uh, stakeholders have to analyze you like that um but then like accordingly i feel like in a market like india the economics the margin structures while you'll have the cost structures of acquiring the same customer you won't have the full stack margins you won't have blessing of the regulators on things you do i think accordingly those choices people can make those trade offs and it's fine um but it's hard to be in india today and not think 
licensing day one. When Echo started, were you from clear from day one that you wanted to manufacture? Yeah. Uh, so I had my distribution startup before that, which also mm. Cover Fox. Cover Fox, which mm. which was really during that phase is where I realized that we'll have to go full stack. Like there is, no, it wasn't a regulatory issue. I think we we had even the right distribution licenses yeah. from the regulator. The margin issue. Margin. So it's it's so again going back to that insurance piece, right? Look, so ye auto insurance alma ek bar lete ho, life insurance jindagi mein ek bar lete ho. Like it's it's one of those. It's not a high frequency, you know, sort of situation. So unlike a, you know, uh, so when I'm trying to buy a product on insurance, my agent se bhi baat karunga, my policy bazar pe bhi jaunga, my ko bhi dekho. Like I want. It's a thought through. You know, it's a thought through decision. It's not a decision which you're, you know. Uh, so if you are an aggregator or trying to distribute other people's products and there is no frequency in the business, it's not a habit. It's like, uh, I always give this example, right? My brother used to live in Delhi. He would be on Zomato. I would be on Swiggy in Bangalore or Bombay. Why is he on Swiggy? I am on Swiggy and he is on Zomato. There's no clear answer. It's habit. But in products like insurance, you can't create, you know, that habit. I will take a thought through decision. So from that perspective, it became very clear that there's no point aggregating 20 brands out of which 10 brands people don't want to buy. Uh, so we have to go full stack. And I would also say, you know, referring to Nidul's comment, partly by design, partly by luck, we did not take a lot of lawyers' advice in terms of uh, how to structure. He said, "Yar, jao, sida, ang band karo, license lo, line me lagu, ek saal lagega, date saal lagega." I think we would, we took almost 20 months, you know, uh, saying, "But you have to go." That's the only way to do it. That's the way you can unshackle and execute what you, what you want to execute and not keep going back to the drawing board. So we started off with that uh, thought process very clearly. That we'll be regulated. In fact, there were choices of saying, koi choti insurance company acha nahi kari, kharid lo. Mene ka, yaar, uska legacy kaun sambhale ga, uske purane compliance issues honge. Who will handle it? Ya to regulator dega, ya nahi dega. Just apply. Let's see what happens. So I think just getting it out of the door right up front has just been a blessing because it's allowed us to execute without 10 times thinking, you know, something left field will hit, hit us. How do you guys think about new products? And what are some clear markers of PMF for, for both of you of, of, of new products? Like Razor Pay, ki to, the legends that you hear it, that the company launched a feature in three months, launch karti hai, Razor Pay is at 7-8 at this time. So how, how do you end up, end up is, do you believe in, let's sh ship and see, or is it more of a planned approach? Ship and see doesn't work in fintech, right? Like you mm. can't, like I can't launch a product. Ki, hai, bugs hai, move fast, break things, and customer ka paisa dug gaya, right? Ki, haan, product tha, koi <laughs> so, <laughs> right? So it, it doesn't work in fintech, right? A, so yeah, we we are a product company. Right? Thi, mein, like uh, the, it, it's a pure tech business at the end of the day, right? Like a person doesn't buy my payment gateway because like my operations are chai, mere kuch chai. They buy because my latency is lower, my availability is higher, my reliability is better, my success rate is higher. So it's a pure tech business. Right. And everything that I do is like differentiator be joy, tech people don't have. Like there's nothing non-tech about our business. Of course, there's regulation and compliance and all of that. But the differentiator is all about tech, right? So broad velocity is the core thing that differentiates me over time. Like and like Razor Pay company, brand we create career. Like you said, we have created that brand. We are the fastest innovating company in this space. And that's a easy to say, hard to maintain as the company grows larger because Correct. India mein fintech is changing so rapidly and our brand promise is that you razor pay so you won't have to regret that something new happened and razor pay mein nahi right? So that is our brand promise to a customer that if you are on us, you will never have to regret it. If you are on someone else, you will get it first. Right? So that requires us to really focus on product velocity. So like, there's a huge funnel of products that's always getting built. And the way that like, the three, six months and multiple products are launched is that the funnel is extremely large. There's always execution happening on that. So, like today, when we're creating product plans, we're creating product plans a year out. Ki next year, we launch karna hai. Next year, mid we launch karna hai. And late we launch karna hai. Wahan pe NP se kuch naya lene wa, lane wala hai. we have to start preparing and assigning bandwidth for it. Because wo specs release karenge, to our team ko immediately pick up karna hoga. Right. So that is how the product velocity is built internally. That it is all about shipping products fastest. And ek to ek side chal raha hai. Dusri side we have to also work with like these enterprise customers that are constantly asking me, "Ko ye feature chahiye, ko ye product chahiye, ko ye bhi chahiye." So that that is a parallel process running where again this large funnel being built out that these are like thousand things that we have to deliver in next three quarters and that that is how long the planning phase is and to to an earlier point I think in uh, the compliance and regulation is such is such a core part and parcel ki wo bahut hi early journey mein think through karna padta like I, like in a lot of cases like security review ki tarah nahi chal you can't build a product and send to a compliance team ki dekh lo abhi isme compliance ke hisab se kya karna right wo Day one, if it's not reviewed in the spec, it's very hard to 
जस्ट पुट कंप्लाइंस इन टू इट एट दी लास्ट स्टेप की उसको रिव्यू कर लो इसमें कंप्लाइंस के लिए क्या चीज़ चेंज करनी है सो यू टू स्पेंड लॉट ऑफ टाइम ऑन डे वन आइडिएशन की यार ये नया प्रोडक्ट मेरा प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर लाइक बेस ऑन कस्टमर मिशन वी थिंक दिस इज अ प्रोडक्ट दैट वी शुड बिल्ड आउट देन आई गो एंड टॉक टू लाइक द इको स्टम प्रोवाइडर्स लाइक नेटवर्क्स या एन पी सी आई एंड ऑल दट हम लोग ये सोच रहे हैं कैन वी बिल्ड दिस समथिंग दैट देन आई टू गेट कंप्लाइंस इन ऑन डे वन क्या इसमें कंप्लाइंस का प्रोसेस क्या रहेगा क्या इसमें गो वी नीड टू आस्त आ रेगुलेटर और एज इज फॉल अंडर द करंट फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ रेगुलेटर एंड देन यू स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग इट पैरल सो द प्रोसेस लाइफ साइकिल इज क्वाइट लॉन्ग आउटसाइड लगता है लॉन्चिंग प्रोडक्ट थ्री सिक्स मंथ्स आउट बट द internal funnel is built quite early in advance so it is a year year long process to deliver most large products that we deliver out but ye compliance day one se matlab predictability bhi to is a is a factor right like you want to like how do you predict for 3 years out 4 years out you can't right so but compliance from a regulatory perspective is more about ki the rules written the interesting part in india is that like its regulations are not about just about the rules written you have to interpret the spirit ठीक है निकल जाएगा छोटा बिजनेस बनाना है करना है रेगुलेटर की आई में नहीं आना है ठीक है मे बी यू कैन हाइड बिहाइंड but most comp- startup founders are not building that way most startup founders build with the ambition ki we have to build a large business if you are building with that ambition be confident that regulator is going to come and ask this question jo tumhe chhota bypass nikal raha somebody is going to come and question ki ye kaise nikala tumne and you have to be prepared to answer that right so so if you are building a large business keep that in mind ki somebody is going to ask this question to you what is your response going to be and that is compliance mindset ki on day one thing if a regulator or a compliance or a banker is going to look at this एंड उसमें क्या क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे वो और उसमें तुम्हारा क्या जवाब रहेगा वरुण एनी टिप्स टू इंक्रीज रेपुटेशन विद रेगुलेटर्स वी वी आई थिंक वी हैव डन अ ओके जॉब द ओनली थिंग सेम थिंग दैट ही सेड लाइक डोंट इंटरप्रेट एनीथिंग टू कन्वीनियंस यू नो लाइक दैट्स दैट्स द एंड यू कंटीन्यूअसली एंगेज डोंट इवन इफ समथिंग इज इन द ग्रे जोन यू नो फॉरगेट टेक्निकल बायपास ग्रे है इंटरप्रिटेशन स्पिरिट भी नहीं पता लग रहा कि लेफ्ट है कि राइट है थोड़ा सा आई थिंक द वे वी हैव लर्नड इज एंगेज tell them this is how you are interpreting it they will not respond they will not tell you ye sahi hai ke galat hai okay uh, not necessarily they they also they are also forming their views right like galat it's not like you know, sahi nahi batayenge sahi nahi batayenge ha wo they, they you are not clear but i think one of the things that we've learned is don't do anything uh, wo jo bombay ka sumdi mein kuch mat karo kuch mat karo never surprise the regulator like, don't no surprise. surprise right like even if you are taking an interpretation you know we we've done written letters on made a presentation explained they still haven't said yes or no but done done it three four times no response okay now i'm going to do it but i have well informed you what is my interpretation i'm not going to keep waiting because i think firstly in spirit has to be right for the customer as long as it is right for the customer you can you know two things if it's right for the customer and you have engaged enough and frequently enough mm-hmm. even if they tomorrow take a different stance they don't come back hard on you because you did it in the right spirit for the customer you engaged enough give them gave them enough opportunity and then they'll come and say okay no yeah we've changed our mind you need to look at it this way but there'll be no fine no penalty they will not take a rogue view of you mm-hmm. you know so them not taking a rogue view of you is very critical so i think the only thing that we've learned is keep engaging keep explaining be patient आप तीन चार बार जाओगे वो ना हाँ बोल रहा है ना ना बोल रहा है फिर आप करो बट एटलीस्ट इफ दे चेंज दे माइंड देर नॉट गो द रेगुलेटर लाइक ही राइटली सेट इज नॉट सरप्राइज एंड इफ दे नॉट सरप्राइज दे गिव यू इनफ टाइम टू देन से कि ओके यू डू इट डिफरेंटली मिडल द स्पेस इज सो कम्पेरेटिव दैट ऑफन यू नो ऑन्टरप्रीन आर स्टार्टिंग टू बिल्ड आउट लार्ज कंपनीज बट हाफ वे थ्रू दे रियलाइज दैट ओ मे बी दिस इज इन अंचर साइज वेंचर साइज कंपनी एंड यू हैव टू स्टार्ट लुकिंग एट पॉसिबल एक्विजिशन मर्जर्स Uh, what is your adf- advice for founders at that point and have you dealt with founders where you realize that this you're probably better off being merged with a with a larger company what is that what is that point usually what, have you seen any patterns there 
यार फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड से द फिनटेक एम एन ए सीन इन इंडिया इज क्वाइट शैलो ओवरऑल इफ यू रियली लुक एट स्टार्ट अप एम एन ए सीन एक्सेप्ट फॉर बारिंग अ फ्यू ट्रांजेक्शन आई डोंट थिंक इंडिया टूडे इज अ वेरी वाइब्रेंट एम एन ए टेक मार्केट इट्स बीन अ वेरी वाइब्रेंट फंड रेजिंग मार्केट यू हैव सीन अ लॉड ऑफ आई पी ओस काम सो आई थिंक वी स्टिल नीड अ लिटल बिट ऑफ कमिंग ऑफ एज ऑन एम एन ए एंड द रीजन फॉर दैट इज इफ यू लिक एट डोमेस्टिक बिग बायर्स इट इज हार्ड been hard to a for them to appreciate what's being built because a lot of mindset has been you know we'll build it here or if you're a lending company like how do you get valued how do you do you get the same kind of appreciation on price that investors give you so m and a has been very hard because you know it's been a liquid i do think over next 3 5 years though you will find that a lot of startups will reach a certain scale and that's completely fine right you will get maybe stuck at 10 20 million arr as a b2b business and you could believe that you know for lack of a better example let's say razer pay is a better synergistic home for a b2b fintech startup building something analogous to them and what do you for a bunch we'll yeah, do that yeah and they have acquired some people really early and like integrated well so i think it's a very you know it's a market where at early stages a lot of tuck ins have happened but i don't think a lot of big tick doesn't happen in late stage yeah. late stage hua nahi abhi tak it's not happened yeah, i now. i also think on that late stage side no maybe i'm expanding on a point that you said there is it's maybe a little controversial to say the large institutions in india the legacy institutions in india still for lack of better words have a lot of bravado ki hum bana lenge in bachcho ko kya aata hai hum ek digital team bitha lenge unko bean bag de denge aur ye phod denge you know like that's no I, i'm not i'm not kidding you you know uh, and and this team struggle nothing happened it's a very different dna different culture so uh, with no disrespect to them they still haven't appreciated how hard it is to build what is getting you know build it's not easy like I, i always give this example initially when we set up in bangalore and we moved based from bombay to bangalore humse to yaar engineer hi nahi hire hota tha yaar because <laughs> agar us engineer ke paas swiggy ki naukri hai aur meri naukri hai to mere paas kyun aayega yaar wo matlab same salary or whatever it is that's a sexier sexier title you yeah. know sexier yes. swiggy is a you know it's fun it's food and you know it's who wants to do insurance right like now you expand this argument to now okay we've developed some employer brand reasonable people are able to join us and so on and so forth so ye legacy company mein to acha talent to jana hi nahi chahta the the kind who is going to think consumer first it's not there but i think that level of nuanced appreciation that i need a very different talent pool i need a different dna i need to understand what software is it is not it you know like you know the, I, i think wo change ho raha hai i'm not saying that there's been zero change over the last 5 years but i think it's not reached a point where they say build versus buy decisions are very clearly taken in their head when i think they reach that build versus buy i think maybe half a decade or whatever you will start seeing because right now there's still a little bit of i feel a little bit of bravado we find it so tough to get the right talent for against a consumer startup who is doing you know something fancier uh, to get the right talent to legacy company to bahut dur hai in that talent even you know so i think for meaningful m and a i think we still some time away you would still see early tuckins also this will happen really when the funding environment is tight you will keep seeing early tuckins i think that you know next two years will be interesting to see because the growth market has been very slow but i think two conditions need for vibrant i mean like buyers have to appreciate what Correct. they're buying What's and have to willing to their price so either the incumbents and the traditional players realize that or two is that your new age uh, startups become large enough yeah. and have war chest yeah. enough where they're acquisitive right let like an acquo and reserve pays of the world have the bank balance appetite and ability to digest and acquire a meaningful size i mean and that can also happen with size right like as they become larger and larger more opportunity and more surface areas will open up actually you've acquired companies fairly earlier on uh, what is the thought process there when you are looking to acquire and often in the space founders want to build large businesses and they don't want to sell how do you how do you convince them to build with you You know, it's a it's a hard one, especially like Mirul's point. Like when the market is uh, in a bull phase, it's Correct. harder. Because everybody like when, thinks they can. When everybody can raise like ten, twenty, hundred million dollars, like who wants to get sell their company? Like even if you are matching the price that investors paying, it's like, yeah, I have an opportunity to scale it further, right? Even if it makes logical sense, it's just very hard to explain them how this is a more logical outcome for you. Uh, other challenges are like the, there is a stage of company where it's like the early stage acquiring is much easier because acquiring is like. I see acquisition as like you are hiring. If I'm acquiring a company of 200 people, then I'm actually hiring 200 people at once. Correct. And it's not very simple. Like I can't go out and hire 200 people at once. Right? It's impossible. I'll get worried. Keep it. I need do all of the match my culture. Do all of the match my world. And here, but the choice is not here. Right? And actually, hiring 200 people, I can at least 
filter 1000 people and then hire 200 yeah i have to hire 200 people at bulk right so having a fit is very very hard right so most of the equations that we made are small except for one and reason for that is that it's easy to 10 20 people companies or 30 40 people companies it's easy to figure out like what whether this is the right kind of team that we want integrate it right ProTech is built out but not that deeply built out it's easy to modify connect it back to the platform and then go out and approach literally so, code khol ke dekhna padta hai ha of course our tech guys will go and go line by line and see ki kya practice follow kari hai how we built it out and it's easy to do it at that scale right the other thing is that like most of the kind of equations that we make are capability equations where we feel ki we're not like so we're not that large of a component we're requiring ki mera revenue 200 million hai iska revenue 100 million hai dono acquire kar le to 300 million ho jayega that's not the kind of equations that we will make and that happens at very large scale we'll make an equation ki i have a distribution with most number of b2b companies in india is there anything else i can sell to them so like i feel ki our payroll i can sell to them because it fits well into my it met met into my ecosystem 2 to 3 years out so i acquired a company which was like i think we we did the acquisition for about a million dollars as a two people company and we got that capability in we plugged it into the platform and it's today now the fastest scaling payroll because it's easy to plug that in and grow with it but it becomes extremely hard as the company grows larger and larger so can do it up to 10 million 15 million but then suddenly their company is 100 200 300 million dollars it, it's not about the amount that i have to pay it's more about the the amount of issues that i'm going to buy in a way and, and and everything across the board okay if it's a 300 people company or 400 people come it will come its own it will come with its own set of challenges and everything and sometimes the cost of doing the equation the, and cost in terms of time and everything it's not worth it in terms of the outcome that you'll going to get out of it so and it's something really meaningful so the only exception we made to that was offline because offline payments we said if we are going to start building it out today it's going to take us 3 years to reach to a point where we can say we are a meaningful player in the offline space that is one place where we need to get a large system already pre integrated and connected and that's why we made a 150 million dollar acquisition because we said and it was very hard we spoke to every company we found one company where we felt that the that the culture and the dna matches close enough that we can push it around and even then it took us a year to integrate right so after acquiring the company it took us almost a year where we said okay now we are going out together and going out winning the market together so it is extremely hard to make that happen and to me this point like well startups are doing that and there will be more and more startups that are going to do that that number is always going to be very small so unless that large old school ecosystem comes out and becomes much more like open to mna in the startup space like he said the vibrancy of the mna market is going to be really small because like there are limited number of startups they themselves have their own set of problems when they're scaling up they don't really have like time to spend on mna as much so even if they are going to do they are going to do like us ki 1 2 3 but you can't have expect that to build an mna framework where companies like in markets like us which are vibrant mna ecosystems companies build being okay ki yeah at some point we will have to get acquired we know this company can't go public but we are okay building it because you know we are going to get mna at this point of time i don't think in india you can take that call india mein you can't build to sell it's very hard it's very hard. hard in fintech very hard i would say i mean i can't opine on other areas but bahut hard hai what are you buying for is not clear but you guys are such large companies that you can probably appreciate the you know incumbents when they think that they can also build this right like you're so large now how do you take a call on saying this is not something we can build this is probably something we have to acquire it's for us it's quite easy because there are so many like the first of all we are running so fast and there's so much to do in our core dna that something we look at ki our this looks interesting we can build it but time ka milega right like you would not get time to really if unless it's very close to agencies far agencies are very hard to really spend time on the other challenge in fintech is that a lot of things require a lot of time to just niche their natural scale up point like i was given example of offline well even if i try to start building it today pehle mere ko like i will get the infrastructure ready then i have to go for a certification it takes a year to two year to get just certification through then i have to start getting it out in the market getting a minimal viable base of customers and this is the part that's least appreciated in india that when you build up it's not as simple as building a product like pmf journey is a long journey you build a product you go out in the market the market tells you 20 things you need to go change and then come back into the market then you do that and then you go back and then you do that and you go back that journey takes its own time so hitting getting to pmf is a one to two year journey at a minimum that part i think is when he said ki when these large companies say ki hum bitha denge and log and kar denge that journey of pmf and how that gets built out i think that's the least appreciated part of building a company all right uh, 
let's talk ai with all opportunities with uh, you know i don't know if you guys saw i mean the, the product that sam altman launched yesterday has so, nothing to do so, with sora sora, sora yeah. it has nothing to do with you guys if anything i should you be never know <laughs> so do it but uh-huh. open ai is doing is everything to do with everyone <laughs> yeah, yeah. do with everyone it's going to kill couple of couple of million companies that yeah kal to meri phat gayi thi um but in in fintech um middle any thoughts uh, i mean there are only so many that can form when it's changing so dramatically Correct. when we're on this Correct. S-curve, uh, when we're on this hockey stick curve any thoughts how it can yeah. how it no, can disrupt the, ai and what's the opportunity so that was going to be our first disclaimer which is it's changing so fast that we are all still forming our view look i've always thought of uh, fintech opportunities in one of three four axes uh, you can as i said earlier you can expand access which is you unlock a new market you can create new experiences which is you know more digital first digital native experiences you can unlock either efficiency or you can you know just reinvent enable tech stacks i think on experience and efficiency ai will have a significant sort of impact and everyone should be thinking how to incorporate like efficiency one is very intuitive and easy which is you know generally banking financial services have been very rpa automation focused but one could imagine ai just making the document like the amount of documents these guys process like like the ai should make that super efficient this whole maker checker process wo ek dekhega dusra dekhega ek stamp lagayega dusra like all of that i believe like ai should make super efficient so i think the cost of going zyada efficient kar dega sir abke video kyc to pointless hai abhi no it's, it's 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 crazy the kind of stuff we, you know it can it can potentially do and we are also kind of wrapping our heads around it uh, so when we i'll give you a specific example when we underwrite health insurance mm. i need to uh, i cannot test you for every damn thing right like otherwise the test is going to take weeks correct uh, to figure out i'll have to put you through some 100 tests so we do the basic tests and we also have like a sometimes for somebody over a certain age or whatever we'll have a doctor call you know uh, k aapko ye kya hai just just get a general some idea of your health mm. some history of your health so that we can take a call whether further tests are required not required or whatever it is we attempted this as an in house you know just like some hacking project or whatever it is a clinical bot is way better than our doctors in the really? q and in the q and in the q and a yeah. because yeah. it knows how much to dig mm. you know like it can continue to contextually dig because no and i'm not blaming the doctors one human can only have so much angle ke agar ye health condition dikh rahi hai ya let's say somebody does adventure sports somebody is into adventure sports right wo kis type ka adventure sport karta hai wo skiing karta hai kya kar? the the bot is able to go deeper because it has far more worldly knowledge yeah and can predict better and can, navigate the yeah, right path it, it, it navigates the right pathways it's very difficult for a human being to have that much knowledge that the medical or the risk propensity can be profiled at a level because all my medical knowledge in my head versus yeah, the world's cannot, knowledge, world's knowledge yeah, cannot do it. it it cannot do it and does it get better yes does it get you know so tomorrow i am just asking you know like will will doctors be required to underwrite medical insurance 5 years from now maybe not like i don't know you know it, because it can it can just go you so know. much faster no <laughs> like you just don't, you still don't know right like like if you see there's a there's a in fact 3 days ago us banned ai underwriting health insurance mm. oh really yeah saying it's not proven that ai has clinical capabilities to the level Fair that enough. so you cannot take an ai predictor to say ki aadmi bimar hai or main isko insurance nahi dunga so you also there's going to be a little bit of regulatory yeah, yeah, this yeah, is going to be a regulatory yeah, fight. fight yeah so it's not going to be that straightforward hmm. maybe it'll be an aid for the next few years then it starts becoming a decision maker it's it's But hard the efficiency experience levers will be very immediate very yeah. very meaningful uh, right Other experience is, based you were saying experience based is more personalization yaar we just keep thinking about i mean again a lot of testing a lot of ad scale but you know really personalizing a product may like simple things like investments or capital right. markets just being able to digest a lot of data process a lot of documents process a lot of history having more data points um humans are prone to errors there so are you uh, seeing a lot of um, ai enabled like wealth management startups that are coming to you now there's a lot of those who come <laughs> there's a lot of the there's a lot of dot ai <laughs> yeah now everything is dot everything ai, dot AI. Yeah, there is like 90s wo kehte the biotech laga do company ke naam par aisa to hai but i think we are still more 
you know, at a very horizontal level, still evaluating opportunities rather than going very vertical specific to say AI wealth management. So to me, it's more the support function of, you know, changing the experience, enhancing the experience or creating efficiencies. And those applications are likely more horizontal and they'll build verticals. Uh, but I am not yet seen something which has interested me deeply on consumer facing everything is AI or ho gaya. So that I haven't seen. Efficiency advantage is already coming in. So yeah. that is happening significantly. Like for us, like the like we we do KYC of businesses and I know KYC has its own challenges in the world of AI. Wo abhi tak hit nahi hua hai. <laughs> uh, from just the day-to-day -day process, like we have to review this shop establishment act certificate to for you have a have a ability to do a business mm -hmm. in a premises. Now, baki sab, most documents like PAN and everything is very standardized and central. But Shop Establishment Act is not centralized because mm -hmm. every city, state, and municipality gives their own version. So OCR wagera work nahi karta because I can't build OCR for like every city in this country. But AI does that job beautifully yeah, because it can pick out and take out. It's still a manual review. I still still a human reviewing the document. But AI pulls it out and highlights the important part. Ki wo like the time to review. Jo minute hota tha, wo minute ho gaya, ya minute ho gaya. Mm. And that efficiency is just massive across the board because of, if you're onboarding like 10,000 businesses a day, mm. then suddenly that time saved is a lot. So those have already started happening. We have implemented it, we're seeing success of it. I think those kind of assistant, as he said, uh, in terms of AI using, AI being an assistant to a lot of internal processes, a lot of internal uh, dependencies, a lot of mandates and intern available. One of the first things that AI started disrupting was you know, was developers, right? So internally, how has it how has it been different? Like what I'm hearing is that, okay, uh, really killer developers are now 10x, 10x better, uh, but it's the lower level just starting off junior developers who are going to get disrupted. What are you saying given that you guys work with developers all the time? Yeah, so we have implemented like what we call Copilot co across yeah. the ecosystem and the efficiency. It's, I wouldn't say it's 10x, I think it's, but it's a significant efficiency advantage. So challenge is that yeah, uh, so we have implemented AI and Copilot at a at a implementation level. So if you're a guy who's coding, you can use it to the end extent. The reviewer stage is still fully manual. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't care whether that code has come from an individual or an AI written and has put in an individual. Mm -hmm. The reviewer stage where that code is reviewed and actually merged into the system, that is still fully manual. And I don't think we're reaching a point where we're gonna replace that. So there is an efficiency advantage at the Downstream level, where these are SDs who are writing code, and uh, like typically, you would when you're writing code, basically, like half of the time you're Googling on Stack Overflow and other places and copy pasting. So, AI makes that part far more efficient, yeah, yeah but and far more useful as because you can cover edge cases much better. When you Stack Overflow, kuch dekha and you missed out some edge cases. I think AI is able to do that, but the reviewer part is still fully manual because, as he said, like there is a hallucinations, there are places where it will go wrong. and. The reviewer part has to be extremely tight that he does it, it that part that layer doesn't care where that code came from. So it's a mix of that. So yeah, the, the factory is getting faster, but the checkpoints are yet not going away. It's it, it, it's it's gonna yeah, take Yeah, I can't solve for accountability. Yeah, also, that's right? that's the yeah. Especially in the insurance sector. Any like fin like you can't say AI and code colour thing. Is is it is it essential for a developer starting off to know how to code? Either in Gen AI or be AI assisted at the at the very least. AI assisted. I think uh, that part, like the efficiency advantage, is quite a lot. And if you're not using that, you're not the most efficient developer, right? So mm -hmm. it's simple. Like like five years back, you can't say that hey, I am a developer and I don't know how to use Stack Overflow in Google search. Mm -hmm. right? Like I can't like you will have to but Google and stuff go, out. But 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 uh, Mridul, I'll start with you. Any obvious sectors that they should that they should look at, saying this is ripe for the next decade, decade to come. Yeah, I think two uh, two areas or two themes I've been very excited about. While you know, very imminent product opportunities. I think one is now finally in India, you have critical mass of different segments emerging. So what I mean by that is, uh, so don't take a very product view like the way you slice it, credit insurance, but take a more segment view of customers. So. You know, NRIs could be a segment. Uh, global travelers could be a segment. Uh, Cross-border traders could be a segment. So I'm more and more thinking segment first views rather than product first views. And then when you take a segment first view, then you'll solve everything for them. Of course, you start with one product, the cross-sell analogy may not hold. 
but you may start with payments so or you may start with credit but over time you want to be their preferred banking partner because i think finally you have like you know teenage 200 million teenagers in india you know tens of millions of exporters in india if that theme has to ride then creating contextual solutions for them will become important so i think these vertical plays are interesting and then specifically i feel one segment uh, which i'm very excited about is just cross border in general whether it's business linked uh, you know individuals linked because i think india whether you believe the story on manufacturing and exports whether you believe the story on smes exporting whether you believe the amount of money that will flow into india from outside or whether the affluence and ambitions of indians will make them seek investments outside or go outside i think both way flow of money is going to multiply many fold and anyone who's intermediating that is uh, an interesting play and that still seems a very frictional market which still has some margins left uh, so the cross border market as a theme interests me a lot yeah i just matlab uh, 0.5 0.5 to 1% abhi bhi le raha hai mera bank every time there's a there's a payment coming from abroad anyway this is possibly interesting until act hopefully some day we might consider open open bank banking accounts uh, ups you, unless upi conquers the world yeah. and unless upi conquers the world <laughs> correct um, why should founders build for fintech you know a decade later you guys are still excited uh, i think very, very similar uh, you know uh, I think fintech is also like a very broad uh, thing like the segmental view is very interesting to me maybe maybe I'll just say that you know this is also the first time in India that you will have a lot of 50 60 years old people with enough disposable income bachche chhod ke ja chuke cultural shift has happened you are no longer you know it's, it's nobody wants to live with their parents you know uh, uh, parents also want to be a lot more independent and they are somewhere at this cusp of having the disposable income but kabhi india mein trust planning nahi hua hai reverse mortgage nahi hua hai assisted living you know that i have a house i reverse mortgage it i go into right, assisted right. living you know this disposable income cohort with the generational cultural shift with kids not living with parents and all of that and first time not relying on family ke budhape mein koi to dekhega mere ko i think that that entire financial layer uh for planning your trust your estate management your retirement your living days reverse mortgaging your houses and there are lots of people uh uh, uh i feel who have matlab do teen ghar kharid chuke hain idhar udhar and but they have no assistance and no support they are half digitally savvy you know like they are somewhere there but that cohort is massively increasing is probably going to be the first generation in india who's retiring from private jobs like meaningfully retiring from you know like big cohorts retiring know, from private like jobs like aaj se 20 saal pehle jo bhi wo koi gail se retire ho raha hai koi sbi se retire ho raha hai correct but ye pehli baar hoga jab you know and and that's a fairly savvy population correct, and correct. potentially uh, high arpu segment uh, and like very high disposable uh, one of the three high arpu segments yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, i think there's going to be a financial yeah. services layer hmm. for that's this interesting. this interesting, yeah. elder segment uh, i think that's one area that uh, at least i keep thinking about it exciting yeah i think for me i mean i come from a b2b side and i speak to like uh, business owners on a daily basis the kind of change that we have seen on the personal side in fintech in last 10 years it hasn't translated to b2b side at all like so and it's the same guy right the same guy is doing upi day in day out and wo business run karta hai to din bhar check kar raha hota right and meet meet those people kya tum business run karte hai pura time check kyu karte ho well, can you are doing all your payments with upi and scanning qr codes and everything and i think they have there are not enough solutions that have gone and targeted Uh, businesses on the fintech side so like as a consumer the way i buy insurance the way i manage my bill the way i do payments the way i get a credit everything has changed massively in last 10 years as a business owner is still the same insurance kharina to broker ko call karo paisa invest karna to bank ko call karo right like it's still the old school mechanism that has been operating i think there's be, there'll be a lot of there'll be a lot of disruption on that side because the buyer is same so that same guy who's gotten used to digital on the personal side i'm sure he wants to do this like like the mac when i started building razor pay I had to pay salaries. I had to still log into that old school bank yeah. portal and click that button. And I was like, "Yeah, ये क्यों करना पड़ रहा है मेरे को? मतलब मैं यहाँ पे ATM पे कभी नहीं जाता हूँ, but मेरे को अगर salary pay करनी है तो मेरे को ये पांच button click करने पड़ते हैं, तब painful process follow करते हैं. Why is there no single click? ये मैं mobile app पे button दबा दूँ और हो जाए. Very true. And I think that is where a lot of disruption is going to happen as startups come into that space. Uh, it's less natural for people to build for B two B. I mean, it was for us as well because you don't see it obviously. You have to talk to a business owner, understand their pain yeah. points, and then build for it. So it's a it's somewhere you have to understand from their viewpoint versus from your own viewpoint. But as people go into more deeper problems, they'll go there, and there's so many problems there across the board. Unsexy is the new sexy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Clearly, gentlemen, thank you so much for sharing you. your insights. This was very valuable. And for everybody who's watching, uh, keep this in mind when you make your next world profiles and see you guys on the next episode. Thank you.